This episode of the Pregame Podcast is brought to you by Andrew Adeniyi. Organizations with strong cultures have proven to outperform those with weaker cultures. However, only 12% of executives believe their companies are fostering the right culture. Andrew Adeniyi's book titled The Circle of Leadership solves that problem. The book is a hands-on approach towards understanding the power of culture and how leaders are responsible for harnessing it. If you are a leader, entrepreneur, or aspiring leader or entrepreneur, this book is for you. Now, through August 31st, the ebook is only $2.99 for pregame listeners on Amazon. That is 70% off the normal price. Physical copies are also available for purchase on Amazon. Make an investment in your leadership development today and support a black author at the same time. Next. This. Detown, D- pregame Detown edition part two, man. Part we still two. in Detroit with it, man. Definitely. I like Don't nobody tell y'all city. different. What up, though? City. This is y'all see us in the studio. No, maybe we went in Detroit right. earlier today. When do we get our Cartier frames? Do like no. we got to earn them? I ain't got it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how that works. Is there a place you that's go? A long way away. I don't, yeah, Cartier. Pro- this got to be a Cartier store or a booth. Can I tell a random story yeah. before, yeah. as we start the show? Go ahead. Ever tell you about the time I almost died? Not uh, which year? Which year was not <laughs> COVID related? <laughs> not COVID related. This is a true story. I've been telling my wife I was gonna slip the story in. Today's the day. Uh, I thought I had breast cancer once. <laughs> <laughs> breast cancer is not. It's, not, it's funny. not funny. It's not, not funny. It's not funny. Sad it's not funny. Shit, for it's real. Why are you doing this? Oh, but it's male breast cancer is. It's no, a, it's not. It's, yeah, it is. Nah, bro. it's a true story. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I'm. I'm 11 years old, 12 years old, or so. <laughs> And it's a lump in my chest, oh, and I felt it one night. And when I nigga, when I tell you, I cried for like two hours. Bro, boo, fucking hooing! Like I can't believe it's you me. Knew, Why you me? Knew you had that shit. I knew. I knew. Did I had like, cancer. Cover that in school that week or something. Oh, check me out. I'm just it's all gonna make sense in a second. So I mean, also the situation. Obviously, I'm a fat kid. Absolutely. So I don't tell my mama. Cause I can't be the kid that has. I can't be the boy that got breast cancer. They always tell you it's possible, but it doesn't really happen. Right. So I'm fucked up about it, man. I mean, <clears throat> I'm in school all week with the shit. Fucked up. Mm-hmm. And just, just so happened, my like my best friend in middle school was like, bro, I got fucking nipple knots, man. This shit fucking hurts. And I'm like, what's nipple knots? Puberty. Bro, it's puberty. Like, you know, I was like, <gasps> yep. I'm not. Di-. And I, to myself, I couldn't tell nobody. I'm just yep. like. God took care oh my of you. God. Huh? Now help I'm me. I'm not gonna die. Tie that <laughs> into Cartier or Detroit. I don't Go. know, man. I just been wanting to tell the story and I had to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for a window and that was it. That I didn't have it. Was the I, worst segue. Bro, I didn't have no real intro. And I'm like, what can I do? And I I've been trying to get the story off. It's crazy, that, man. Rob really thought, listen, I thought I had to be the fat kid with breast cancer. You had yeah, puberty, puberty early. I feel like that's early. Like Take me 10, now. 10, 11? Yeah, 10, I'm 11. 11. But shit, you would have had to make a Wish Foundation. Uh, Take me out of front of WrestleMania. You'd have been in the front row of everything. Yeah, everything. That's how it works, man. We have this young man dying of breast cancer. <laughs> yeah. People would have hey, laughed. You would have been on the news a lot sooner. <laughs> you know what happened? You would have met Mike. Probably. You would have. I would have had to go. My parents would be like, no, you can't go up there, no, They let you go. You'd have cried. Nah. You would have, man. They would have to come with me. And it was they just, they just just small brothers if, with you. If nothing else, your brother got to go too. It's now. a two live crew with you. Yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all got to go. Yeah. The wrecking crew got to go. And I'm look here. They to the beat you, if, Michael's <laughs> ass. You, I better brother to kill Michael. That sound good, <laughs> but if you think Michael didn't have shit to distract parents and older kids, nah, you're just mistaken. Nah. Here you go, big guys. I got a gym over here for you. <laughs> Oh, you got a new ball. That's what the what you got an infusion pump. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, hey, the infusion pump was the shit. Everybody had to have one. You would have been up in the secret closet hey, so quick. Nigga. Birthdays and Christmas were so easy that year. You want basketball, don't you? Yes. Can I get the ball with the pump? I'm just gonna take your, your brother upstairs real quick. We're just gonna listen to some music. Kick it down here. Okay? I've got a new uh, stop. I'm not joining y'all. Nigga was, this shit. Nigga was oiling his I'm sorry, man. Down, as you said it, nigga <laughs> was. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was super random, man. But I just wanted to get that off my glove. Had that on my spirit, but I almost died. Breast cancer when I was 11. I'm Kylo Reed. I'm on Twitter. I'm the boss. Don't try. 
<laughs> what's, uh, what's good? What's good? It's David Ruffin. Find me everywhere at David Ruffin. Follow me, tweet me, DM me, all that shit. Call me, beat me if you want to reach me. Yeah. Deuce hey, Touche. Shout out to Kim cool Possible, man. That's a great show. Follow me on Twitter at Cool Times Calm. <laughs> This is DJ Lil Oh shit This is DJ Lil One Duck Tall Daughters Man stop down People's worst you could ever Possibly do Make sure you don't do that You listen to season don't. 4 Episode 44 Of the pregame podcast We talk news Music Sports Entertainment Every single Like keep the content Hilarious and informative For all our listeners Man especially day once Make sure you follow us On Twitter At underscore the pregame Use the hashtag Bless the bottle That's the best way To interact with the show You have no idea If you actually open up Your Twitter app right now and scroll all through the Bless the Bottle tweets. <laughs> Some heat on there, man. A lot of great commentary, and it's hilarious. Make sure, if you are an Instagram I see it. veteran, an Instagram junkie, Instagram addict, make sure you follow us on Instagram at the Pregame Podcast. Instagram got your bitch. Instagram got your bitch. Shout out to you, man. He seems to be happy again. I saw the video with him dancing with North. Fry yay yay. It, yeah. it looked too bad. Well, you know well, what I'm mental health is not a monolith. He can... Yeah, he has good days. Right. Yeah. Some good days and there's some bad days. For sure. All right, man, listen. Once again, you listen to the pregame podcast, we got a gang of topic gang of topics as usual. Make sure you tuned in right now. Gang gang, no play thing. <coughs> Indeed. Gang, 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 gang. So the kids say. I'm pulling them up right now. Just bear with me. Damn. All right, man, this week, we're gonna talk about WAP. Breaking the internet with Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion. There's and some Kyle holes Jenner. in this house. There's some holes in this house. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that was a sample. Yeah. Um, I, I think just, about, you know I'm thinking about Players Club when you hear that? I, I think about tricks. Hmm. Beirut fireworks. In they, quotations They got to chill. It's crazy. That Far from the truth. Yeah. Uh, Herman Cain passes away um, yeah. due to COVID-19. Trump threatens Ep- Epstein's girlfriend in a uh, interview. Crazy. Judas in the Black Messiah trailer. The baby. Amine. Popkin. NLE Chopper. Victoria Monet. Rod Wade. Y.E. Ali. Man, all dropping new projects was crazy. Popcon. Bubble Beef. And then TJ Warren. Possibly Bubble MVP. Listen, man. Gang of Topics, man. Once again, listen to the pregame podcast. Season for episode 44. We talk news. Music, sports, entertainment every single week. Like keep the content, Larry's in the format. Man, make sure y'all check us out, man. We are available on Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, you name it, Google Play. If you got an Android phone or iPhone, no matter, you can get in tune. SoundCloud.com backslash listen to the pregame. Wherever you like the pregame, the podcast, wherever you like the podcast, the pregame is available. That's very important. Also, man, shout out to Deuce Touche. Listen, we need a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Just a thousand. So if you have not done so, please Just subscribe. Way. On YouTube right now. If you're with the pregame podcast, make sure you mention us or rate us on iTunes. Write that review for sure. Let people know you're rocking with us, man. You like the show. And don't be stingy. Definitely tell somebody else about the pregame podcast. You're not allowed to say anything negative. You can. If you do, we're going to send Reed to your house. Yeah. Indeed. I'm cleared. He's back, baby. <laughs> He's back 100% hey, health, hey, right? Yeah, he, he got a clean bill of niggas, health. Niggas don't know if they're going to catch COVID in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you'd rather catch the hand. Hey. <laughs> it's a quicker recovery. I don't know, nigga. It's a quicker you recovery. Come to sure. your front door recently, he's breathing. You don't know what's about to happen next, nigga. Are you about See, to cough on me, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> I might. I, I, I've, I, one of my niggas, shout out to my nigga, he's... About he's about your size. He's a big fella. Yeah, right. And there's a video of him punching a man, and I felt. So I've seen that man. It's crazy. I saw. It, he looked like a. It looked like a Mortal Kombat. Violent. Thing. He was hitting this man. Violent. The man deserved it out the gate. He was being racist. He got that ass whooped. I think I saw that video too. Yeah, it was I tough, like man. To see I Oh, my nigga was. Can you show it to me? Well, yeah, well, you see my nigga arms coming. That's why I know if you hit somebody, <laughs> they're oh, it's a rap, nigga. It is, man, for sure. But now you got two special powers. You got the power punch combo. I don't have the other power no more. And then you got the cough combo. And <laughs> I that's think my crazy. cough is clean right now. I'm good. I'm not going to do it, but you know. <laughs> you scared the shit out of somebody, yeah, though. Terrifying. <laughs> oh, nigga, the cough is AIDS. Cough in public yeah. if you want to. <laughs> um, motherfuckers start pointing. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on, fella? <laughs> motherfuckers are not cool. <laughs> no, I'm serious, man. You can sure. sneeze in public. A public don't, and, uh, that shit. Don't nigga. let your mask be off with a cough. Got oh, that yeah, package. You're welcome yeah. to mass destruction. It, it, it's the new package. 
Yeah, yeah, pop, 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 man, get you, it's it's bad, man. You and then you feel subconscious. You, you know, I got allergies. You got to tell people like, man, I, it's allergies, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Sneeze and it's the cool. pollen count is high today. Yeah, Damn. But, uh, 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 a stern. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, you can't even clear your hey. throat, nigga. Well, you, you are you good? You, you need to step out of the store. You nearly got to show him the Zyrtec, like man, I, Zyrtec, yeah. nigga. Not sick. All right, drowsy. Hey, right I now. keep saying, bro. I tell I tell Lauren yesterday. I'm really scared for when like. You know, the, the, the winter changes. I mean, the weather changes. You just kind of get a natural little. Mm-hmm. Does that like, do I got to go to the hospital? Yeah, you should check. I'm you should just terrified. Yeah, check. If people going to look at me crazy. Hey, uh, I don't know if y'all saw it. You just need to wear a shirt that says I COVID need, free. I need Kylo recall three times, man. Yeah. Yeah. Get your chest report at Xerox onto your shirt. <laughs> wear that motherfucker every day. Clear. Clear. Kylo Clear. Coughing, man. Like, do we need to ask or do we need to check? That's real, man. Nah, it's serious out here. Flu I go back to work gonna be this tough. week. It's going to be annoying and interesting. The first part, somebody sneezes and coughs. It's going to be a lot of love. It's also going to be a lot of, you good? <laughs> yeah. You all right? Like, yeah. They're Elbows. really going to fist bump you. Elbows. And, for, and they, people going to keep the Clorox wipes on deck around yeah. you. you. How you doing? Some- we brought you, we brought you How these. How you doing, Kylo Ree? We thought you might yeah. need these. Bro, I looked at my desk. I haven't worked since. I, I had... A report on my desk from March 11th. Damn, I've not worked a single day Damn. since March 10th. Damn. Whoever that report was about fell by the wayside. Okay. Yeah. Crazy, bro. That was D-Day for you, man. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Definitely Normandy yeah. Beach. Okay. Storming that motherfucker. Yeah. I could have sent some man. people out. The kids. Next. <clears throat> uh, shout outs. Uh, shout out to Made by Glide, man. So there's a care package this week. With some so we dope. appreciate yeah. you, Glide. Shirts of Fire. You, man. Hit the website. He just releases uh, workout apparel as well. Slap his line. Yes, sir. Yeah, sir. Mm. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, also, speaking of workout apparel, shout out to uh, train, Trap and Train, Sequoia. She also dropped her apparel this week as well. Indeed. She's got it in the mint or the orange. Looks nice, man. Pick that up, ladies. Get the orange. I think the mint was fire. I'm a green nigga, though. Do you love green? I love green. You are? Get the orange. You, you, like, mint, you like mint ice cream? No. It's fire. No. Mint Oreo? Yeah, it's not my favorite. I'm not I'm not brushing my teeth while I eat ice cream. Yeah, it's weird, man. Fire. Get the orange. I like mint juleps. The, the little... The drink. Oh. Uh, I've, I've never had that, I call it beverage. Okay, nice. You like mint mojito? Yes. Mojitos are good, too. Yeah, like it all tastes like crest to me. Uh, uh, motherfucking, um, damn. Uh... <coughs> Moscow mules. Oh, got mint in them. Yes, sir. Good. Ugh, ugh. Just not ice cream. But no, they got. She dropped hers. I think I believe it's sixty five of you in the city. You pick it up. It's seventy five online for the two piece. Nobody included. You got to work for that. Yeah. And don't Indeed. wear it. Don't wear it if you're not gonna fill it out. Don't be no, that's no. not fair. Oh, you can't do that. Buy rough. it. Nobody fill it out. It. Yeah, wear it. Buy it and work towards filling get, it out. Filling it out. I'm sorry. Earn them shoes. All bodies matter. I they do. They do, man. Trap and train. Hit her up. Yeah. That's they all my shout that out That's a Jada too. That's all I have. I have a shout out. And I can remember. You heard somebody's feelings. Uh, I guess I didn't do this last week. Shout out to That's an Opinion. They, they are were, back. They are back last week. I assume they'll be back this week. If they don't, we're going to give them some words. Yeah. What the fuck y'all niggas doing? But they, uh, man, shout out to Hendrick. Shout out to Owen. Shout out to DJ, of course. Y'all niggas are funny. Uh, I love to tune in every week. I miss y'all niggas. Uh, y'all keep me laughing. This so. is cute. I didn't know it was gonna get this cute. No, they're my niggas. I uh, see. Now shout out to Spin Media for real, man. I just I did think that since niggas was gone for three or four months, it would be longer they than like thirty two months. <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> they said back like we never left, nigga. Yeah. I Indeed. feel you. You gotta keep the same product. Don't don't switch up on niggas. Yeah. Let's say out to them though, man. I feel like the city's podcast is back complete now. They was the last ones to come back, I think. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's back, I think. Yeah. Somebody invite me to be on one of y'all episodes, man. I ain't been on Drunken Nights in a minute, man. Um, nah, the, po- niggas, the man. podcast culture here is superior. Hey, bro. It's cold. Shout out to our guest this week, Rose Spit from Burn Rubber. Shout out to Rose, Rose Spit, man. Yeah. Make sure y'all tune in. Dropped a lot of gems. And the story about Burn Rubber is just interesting in general. Yeah. It's a black-owned boutique in Detroit. It's fire, man. Make sure you tune in, for real. Shout it's out not, to Spit. It's not the standard boutique story. Nah. It's yeah. not. Nah, man. Which is cool. They had to come up. They did. And the store's fire on the inside. Beautiful yeah. store. And they uh they made us 
custom shirts on the fly. Man. Yeah, every shirt we bought there, we all bought rubber, rubber t-shirts that day, and we all got to create our own burnt rubber t-shirts. It was so like building If you, if you, you like see us out, yep. don't say shit. Be like, oh man, no collar. We got that same shirt. Yeah, mm-hmm. he does. Shut the fuck well, up. Well, yeah, y'all were weird for getting the exact same shirt because you <laughs> had we, the opportunity to get whatever you wanted. I just, and I YouTube like to made the same shirt. I think they made the same mine's shirt. Same, for mine's stuff. white. I've only one got a white one. Okay, I made mine first. You did. He bit you. I t- but nah, okay. they added some shit they weren't supposed to add on mine. What they add? They added the the br on the ah, back. Ah yeah, yeah. And the, I just told them burn rubber straight up. That's all uh, I wanted. Oh, so now you being picky. What you mean? I don't want all that extra <laughs> shit on mine. I, I didn't. I didn't. But they put on there. I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I didn't. For I sure. Didn't. So I wasn't necessarily copying. just happened to be that way. I copied. I said, give me that same one in white. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay if you did. Because if it was a jersey, we'd get the same. They don't make different type of jerseys. Yeah. If I got a LeBron jersey, he got a LeBron jersey. It's okay. Well, that's odd because he does that now. Do you want one? What you mean? A LeBron jersey. I'm cool. I'm you sure? For, I'm looking for a good Your birthday's coming up or did it pass? It's tomorrow. It's Birthday's tomorrow. tomorrow. Shout, Shout out to, to Lloyd Williams. It's his birthday tomorrow. 30 ball. It is, man. I'm getting old, hey, you man. They treat me so bad when I was 30 and y'all wasn't. <laughs> you old ass. <laughs> you old niggas. Well, now you you're, me now. Well, now you're uh, if we in our, talking all, to 40s ears. No, we're all in our <laughs> early 30s. We're all in our early 30s. <laughs> Now, when you turn when you turn thirty, Reed, it was season one. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. Was it? it was. Years ago, no, I'm thirty three. We in year four. It was season one. No, it Years ago, it. it was early on, bro. Years ago, <laughs> niggas so, still had the, your birthday. Your third, we still had the cardboard. Yeah, it's for season. Sure. It's season four. It was season man. one because we started in July <laughs> yeah. and I turned thirty. Yeah, that's when we had that big party. One. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, nigga, it's not the same, all right? Regardless of the fact, we are all now in our early 30s. We are, man. Well, you're Tomorrow. in your mid 30s. No, I'm not. It's Real sure. soon. Uh, no, nigga, don't, ain't no soon. Today. Today, no. In our early 30s. 90 days from now, mid 30s for you. 34 is mid 30s? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Four, five, six would be mid. Yes, One, two, sure. three yeah, is yeah, early. Yep, yep. We're in our early 30s together. That's how we it works. Are, for sure. So for now. Good. Feels for good to be a team six again, months. guys. Yeah. You got COVID plans? It's tough. Uh, I don't know what's going on, man. Oh, I, they I got you something to, cooked up, huh? I don't know. Dinner tomorrow is at six. Where? My mom's making chili. With and the my noodles? Mom for your 30th? Yeah, yeah. chili's fire. I'm very excited. I didn't ask for it, but I'm. it's an elite meal for my mother. It's real fire chili, but we just had chili a couple weeks ago. And it's hot. You want something else? For it's not my birthday. birthday. It's, it's not, not my birthday. birthday. It's not about me. I just thought we just had chili. He gonna eat it. <laughs> Nigga, yes. <laughs> Two big fat ass bowls of it. But what I'm saying is, I, I don't like, like eating chili in the, in the summer. It's not you, a. Hey. Summer is for like for me like tuna salad and chicken salad. Chili my parents are religiously eating chili, and I'm like, why are you eating chili again? It's hot. No, it's I'm sweating. Degrees. All right, so say we weren't in a pandemic, what would you have wanted to do for your thirtieth? I wanted to uh, go to Thailand, man. Mm. Really? Yeah. At the start of your baseball season? What you mean? No, for my 30th birthday prior to the COVID shit, I I'm saying, to but to you Thailand. know, baseball I, just started for you. Probably not. I don't know when it would have been. But oh, okay. I want to go out the country. Got it. Is for there sure. a, so for me, as far as Asia goes, Thailand's definitely on the list of Asian countries I go to. Is mm. why, what you, what's the reason for Thailand? You want to get some real uh, Thai food? The food. The street food, man. Right. Yeah. Where do they make authentic hibachi? Hibachi's Japanese. I want to go there. It's not gonna taste like you want it's it's not, to taste, it's not gonna taste the same. Uh, you know what? The older I get, I am really not interested in leaving the country. I can't wait to. I actually realize I don't like traveling that much. Yeah, I don't like being don't, places for too I long. I like to be where I'm at. Yeah, I don't like going or coming though. As a nigga who didn't get to travel much growing up, I really enjoy walking through airports. It's weird. Walking through airports is fire. I didn't travel till I was 15. I wasn't travel till I was 24. Okay, big difference. Or something like that. Like yeah. he said, the food. I'm a nigga. Some fat shit, I guess y'all gonna call it. It's okay. I'm down to try whatever. You know what I mean? Like Thailand. Oh, y'all just cook that? Uh, cool. Let's see what's up with crazy. it. Crazy. As long as it's... Now, if the shit is still moving, I'm cool. But <laughs> yeah. if y'all cook that shit... It's like, well, how long is the flight to Thailand? That's my problem a with, long with the travel. Probably 14 to 18 I can't. hours. I'm, not, I'm never going across over... over we really. gotta fly first class at that point. You need your chair I to need recline. a bed. Yeah, you need a chair to yeah. recline. What you do is... What I what some people who took those long flights is take an MB. That ain't enough for me, bro. Like, I, I, it's so uncomfortable. Give me horse tranquilizer. <laughs> <laughs> and not just stab it. They got stupid. Like, <laughs> they are really shooting with it. <laughs> the biggest needle ever. Welcome to your flight, Mr. Abdullah. 
<laughs> Just step over here. He's all right. <laughs> he, he, he asked for this. He, he told us to do yeah. this. Yeah, bro. Like, I can't be on the plane that long. The bro. Hunter from Jumanji. I really only got to it. If, if, you have a, if you have a line, a good lineup of, you got a couple movies to watch, some music, and then you'll sleep for a majority of the time, I you should be good. Get, it's so uncomfortable. Flights aren't the best, so I'll be the well, first. Well, make sure you get a middle seat with nobody else. A sitting middle like, seat? Yes, with nobody sitting on your sides and lift the arms up, hey, nigga. You'll be cool. I you have will, a bench. I will pay a hundred extra dollars to have the middle. This like the middle's the worst, man. This is shout outs. You see the shout outs. I'm saying if nobody's sitting on either side of you, you have the middle seat, lift those arms up, you have a little bench. Yeah, that's But fair. somebody's going to be there, though. Yeah, going on them big flights, there ain't, ain't no empty yeah, big flights. Pay for them other seats. Did Show. you, when, when you wanted to go, did you price take it at all? Like, what was I did. Like? I don't think we ever got to that point, man. Okay. But I definitely want to go out the country, go to Thailand. And I just, man, shout out to Anthony Bourdain. You know what I mean? He makes like, you want to do that shit. <laughs> it's like, bro, yeah. the food looks so good, it's crazy. We must remember, though, that was a tall white man walking through Thailand. True. You being an average sized black they man. They might give you something. The same yeah. situation. Now I'm throwing up. Some. Out my I would ears like some, and shit. I would like some they, they got a name for us over there. I'm, I'm sure <laughs> Thailand has a name for us too. I don't know what it is. It is right, but they got one for yeah, us. They do got one. We might be just spooks over there. Nah, it's something nah, it's something else. Some we we can't pronounce. I'll put the pat. Somebody should like ask Pat. Shit. Pat might know. Hey Pat, if you're listening, what do they call niggas in Thailand? Oh yeah, let us know. Hey man, shout out to Pat. He probably would have showed us a good time. He would have. Pat gave showed you a great time for sure. Man, shout out to Pat, man. We have a Thailand listener. We have a bro in, in Thailand right now. Thai. Right. Yep. He's a guy that, that mop uh, Mark in the It's bad. In the yeah, oh, just, yeah. 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 He was, in the, in the, in the Paros Oratorical. Yeah, yeah. He, he was in the movie Great Debaters. <laughs> it was bad. Somehow, some way. I he was there. I, listen, I, I speak of Oratorical. I wish I could have been there Bro, for a minute. Bro, Pat took a deep breath. It and just and went crazy. It was fire from that point on. It was crazy. Mark he was said, like, damn, this nigga. Wow. We really sacrificed Mark because Mark didn't even want to do it. Nobody ever does with GH. No. Niggas do not want to do that Oratorical. What is it? It sounds like nigger. Oh, shit. You found it? I just did Google Translate. <laughs> it, it just sounds like. Let me hear it. Play it again. Hold on. It sounds like Thai nigga saying nigger. Oh, she got scared now. Now she won't say it. We listening. Yeah. That's crazy. crazy. Spooked her bitch ass. Right. Nah, let's hear that shit. We got time? It's not playing no more. Damn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's bullshit. We'll never know now. Yeah, yeah. you scared now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Caught your ass. The so. government's always listening, man. They definitely said, no, 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 Don't send that one through. Don't send that one through, John. Don't but I'm sure everybody through, got their own little low key words for us. We are Still. a byword. We are. Um, but nah, man, shout out to Thailand, man. Shout out to Anthony Bourdain for at least making the idea of something. I was just watching some Anthony Bourdain parts unknown today. It's tight, man. He's a great journalist. I don't fuck with Anthony Bourdain like that. Oh, Check he, it out, bro. You it's would interesting. Love him. I watched it. I never. The food don't always appeal to so me. So, did you watch No Reservations or um, what's the other one? It's all fire. No, it's two. He had two shows. He had a, he had a first show with Travel Channel, which was just cool. Where he was eating exotic foods. Yeah, yeah. But then he had, what's, like what's, the other one. One? what's the one on CNN called? Parts Unknown. Parts Unknown is heat. The bag got bigger. I never saw that. No Reservations that. is cool. Parts Unknown is great. The one where he was eating the bizarre foods. Or anything that's right Andrew. That's, that's Andrew, Andrew Zimmer. That's who I don't like. Yes, yeah, different guy. I like he, him too though. Maybe in there eating. Whatever. Well, fucking, His shit be moving. Yeah, yeah. he went fucking eating uh, moose this, back. I'm like, hey, bro. This is shit. It tastes gamey. Yeah. That's his, that's his yep, shit. It's ga- <laughs> very gamey. Very gamey. That means it's gritty yeah. and nasty and tastes like fucking <laughs> rit- liver. It tastes iron. like outside. Tastes like exactly. Iron. A lot of iron in there. Uh, let's do it like that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited <laughs> to be 30. Uh, I'm very proud of, of on, my bro? family. Proud of, you know, to, to make this far. Shout out to God. You know what I'm saying? And uh, hopefully 30 to 40 is tight too. For How sure. nervous were you? We were about to forget that just now. Because niggas just out of shout outs for a second. Be, be a single, I'm I'm respect. Respect. Nah, I wasn't going to say nothing. I, it, it's different because you would have passed, y'all would have been reminded. So mine is tomorrow. So it's, we court on Sunday. That's so I get facts. it. That's for facts. For sure. Indeed. That's facts. I get it. We got a text. Just, uh, I, I, uh, I went in and added. Shout out to <laughs> <laughs> Just I let y'all know. Like that. I went in and added. It's uh, not a big deal. You know, I, I, don't really, I don't really and care. That would be so funny. Just want to let y'all know. I went in and added um, just at the front of the show. Yeah. Uh, happy birthday to me. Yeah. You motherfuckers forgot. I talked about it's not a big deal. Said, we talked about it. a couple things what I'm doing this week. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> that would be so funny, bro. Oh, that would be hilarious. I'd be like, damn, we fucking You got any good gifts on the way? Do you? Did oh, you ask no, for man. anything? Nah, I didn't ask for anything. Oh, humble. You see them Kobe's coming out at the end of the month. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm not getting those. I'm getting them Kobe. That'll be myself. I'm, I'm getting those fives. Okay. Getting them. Okay. Next. Getting please, them. next. 
Next. Oh, I want my wife to hear it. I'm getting the Nike coins. sneakers about to finger fuck you. I'm but okay. getting the <laughs> Got a big one. Yeah. I'm getting those digits. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Just like I got them. That's from house party. <laughs> Any more shout outs though before we move on? I, on? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm getting those digits. Next. Next. Oh man, shout out to Jay Reed, man. They just had a uh they got a little they got a, another human being Baby on the way. I'm sorry, bro, but I'm not sure if it's a boy or girl. Okay. But they just had the uh the baby shower today. It looked beautiful. Shout out to the brothers that went. Good time. Shout out right. to Jay Reed and his family. Oh, really? For sure. I know I do. Right. Jay Reed on the way Congratulations. to having, on the having this will be three. He on the way to having a team. For Try sure. It. <clears throat> Running it up. Mental wealth. Indeed. They have a little bank working in there, a little business in that house, yeah. I'm sure. Oh yeah, the, the children are definitely gonna be running numbers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you niggas are broke. <laughs> right. Uh, mm. Next. Second salaries and shit. Next. Next. First things first. First things first is we wop. Wop. Is that you and gushy? Wop. Wop. And gushy. No, it's way ass pussy. I know. Okay, cool. Some but holes in this. A lot of people didn't know that. It's it took some, them a while to get to what it really was. It's some holes. Like when it first came out. You was hearing wet and gushy, but it was called Wop. I'm like, what the fuck is Wop? It's weird that YouTube felt the need to edit that. Weird. Uh, it's weird. Yeah. I see if I, I see BT edited it, hey, but why is it not explicit is, on YouTube? Yeah, True YouTube story. never does that. I saw uh, just a piece of the video. I said, that means wet ass pussy. As soon as I saw, I didn't even hear it. I said, oh. They talking that's about exact, I know what they talking that's, about. I yeah. know what Wop yeah. is. Hey, in two and I bet that's what Megan got. You know, I know she got. I bet a lot of money that she got it. <laughs> uh, some things I want to say about it. Go, on, let's talk about it. I'm more concerned about you people, regular people's reaction to it. Um, first thing, you uh, people. That's you tough. People, you niggas. Oh, niggas. there we go. That's Ooh. it. That's first, first thing, the niggas out here acting like this is just the nastiest song you ever heard. Shut the fuck up. Okay. It's right in line with my neck, my back. My neck, my back, tip drill. We've been listening to this nasty shit our whole lives. Stop saying that it's nasty. Um, second of all, we get us a pandemic. We get it. There's a lot of racial tension in the world. That's never, ever going to go away. Um, I don't know why I you hope would, so, what do you What do you want? <laughs> I do you hope want, so, though. Do you, yeah, <laughs> but. Or, 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 do you want, are, are people doing the why are they making this right now? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck do you want Meg the Stallion and Cardi B to rap about right now? The fuck? Yeah, that's and, and honestly, Meg just did a performance that was, you know, kind of female empowerment. Yeah, female or empowerment, yeah, yeah. Definitely. No. And her BT award performance. This female empowerment. The, you got that that fire shit. Let niggas know. Let me know. So, um, second one, y'all might not fuck with me on this one. <laughs> it's weird that people are upset at Kylie Jenner being in the video. Weird. Okay, to be fair. Wait, go on, don't yell at me yet. Give me a second. <laughs> it, clearly, this video was I'm shot. I'm surprised before. you didn't leave with that. I know this you is, wanted to. This video was shot before she got shot in the foot. The rumor there, there's a rumor that yeah. Kylie's the reason she that. Uh, so I get that. We're just on Instagram Live again. Ah, so. well, yeah. See, so that's all. It's it's a good chance that rumor's not. That's true. not what they're saying. They're not yeah. saying. I thought you was mad at Kylie. That's why she uh-huh. got you shot. They're mad because Kylie Jenner's white. Who uh-huh. shot you? Can I say something? Yeah. Who shot? And you? I've never noticed this. <laughs> That's a good looking white woman. It's a bad bitch. No, Sorry. Now I know it's all made the, up. Yeah. They, they definitely made she, it in a laboratory. She she her, her lab creation is laboratory. really good. She ain't like naturally cute. I know she looks. It's weird. She the and, one that had the lips. And, the and, picture, I, right? and I promise I'm like not. Undertaker. That's the, okay. Yeah, I get it. And I'm, she and has hey. really turned that around. And I'm gonna say this. That's what I meant. And I'm that. gonna say this. And Fred, I'm gonna still in his mouth. I, 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 I want. I want all the heat. I want all the smoke. Uh-oh. It's black women that are mad at it. It's weird. Y'all are weird for that. Being like, oh, I edited Kylie out the video. Shut the fuck. Why wouldn't you have one of the most <laughs> famous people in the world in your music video? Like, I, I saw people saying it should have been so It wasn't easy. like there was no other black women in the video because there clearly was. <laughs> well, the, the black women made the video. Yes, and the dancers were black. There was all kind of black people in the video. It's just it's just weird. Kylie Jenner didn't do nothing to y'all. <laughs> Hey, she ain't like Kim. Leave Britney alone. I don't hate Kylie. Kylie's actually worse than uh, Kim. Is probably, she? probably. I don't hate Kylie. Why, what? Hey don't man, now you didn't sound like Kanye. <laughs> I don't understand. Um, I don't understand I, the hate. I do want. I do want to say this though. That listen, there's a reason as to why black people, black women feel the way. Why they feel as though that you know a lot of times black people aren't celebrated. Black women aren't celebrated. The whole video is about black. So I'm, it, I'm not. So, I just got a question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead. Uh, 
but black women made a video. I understand it's their decision that, to put it they, there. They're naturally think it's like, you know, oh, man, why are y'all rushing to Kylie Jenner for this? You How know do you know I mean? they rushed to second. Kylie Jenner? This hey, why are you I'm so just, offended? Because the people are making up scenarios to try to fit their narrative. No, listen. The, so in the video, Kylie's definitely highlighted more than yeah, it's, other a, it's a oh, her slow walk. walk. It's, She's it's highlighted fire. more than Meg the Stallion. That's not I'm talking about the extras. She's highlighted more than any extra in there, like Norm, Normani, Norm, Normandy. What's how you say your girl oh, name? Normani. Normandy. She got she got a seven, but Kylie. The video stops. It goes into slow motion. It's crazy. It is. Listen, it's I'm a not highlight. The most famous. People it's a highlight, man. Kylie Jenner is fire. But isn't I'm not that Meg and Cardi's fault? If that's yeah, for the case? sure, it's her decision. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I don't think it should be a problem because it's their decision. You no, know no, what no. Mean? I'm just saying to, to act like it wasn't clearly a difference to what Kylie got to compared to other people. Is that because she's more famous? For sure. Yes. Not because she's white. So stop. It's weird. Y'all people are weird. Kylie Jenner didn't do shit to y'all. I understand that, but they're, they, Leave their, reason, Brittany alone. their reasons for feeling that way are validated. No, they're man. not. Yes, they are. No, it's they're rooting, not. It's ruining yes, a lot of ways was, which they've been if, treated. If it, was, if it was just Cardi, Meg, and Kylie in the video, and no other black women got to dance or get paid or be bro, seen in that video, then, bro, then it's valid. At the same time, she was highlighted, bro. It The video literally stops to show Kylie Jenner. Like so, hey, so every time every video. time a black person makes a video, you you white it, people can't get the spotlight at giving, all. You're giving an ultimatum here, man. No, I'm, I'm asking a question. You, no, you're I giving an ultimatum. That's not. I'm, I'm asking I'm a question. Just, I want to answer. Telling, I'm just telling you, and I'm not. <laughs> your answer is the ultimatum. <laughs> these are these are Tell not my answer. thoughts. These Tell are not my thoughts. Hey, hey, why are you so offended? I just I feel like my thing is like you must have saw some really mean tweets. It's just look. Or on the, on the day to day, I don't give a fuck about Kylie Jenner. I just feel like I don't people focus their energy towards some weird shit. I don't like. I, like why? I, said, I think people's reaction is going to be dictated by their timelines. I think you must have had a really harsh now, timeline. I saw somebody Niggas talking about I was like, what? Yeah. I saw somebody talking about you know what's trending and Kylie was trending and Meg and Cardi were not. She's more famous than them. That's I, just I, natural. I don't have a problem. I mean, I don't. I don't have any energy for it. I don't give a fuck. I mean... Yeah, at the end of the day, they use Kylie to, to propel the video more. Yeah, which is cool weird. visual video. I mean... Use your fucking resources. I, I, my only hope is that little kids ain't singing it because oh, dear I don't want kids on TikTok. Don't. I don't want to... They said the, the kids bop's going to be... There's some chores in this house. I, I hope so. There's I do not want to see this house. There's children. There's some chores in this because, house. Because now the difference is, you no, know, my neck, my back came out. And it came out when we was kids. But you didn't have TikTok. Where kids could put right, together a video. Like that, I don't yeah. want to see any of these young children. They should well, be honestly, stay away from that one. It's a, if you watching, if you thirteen year old young man or I ain't young woman, you gotta have seven, eight, nine. You gotta have, so on, the pre- so, you gotta so, have on the previous to play both sides. On the remote. So, do you mind if there was like kids buying out TikTok dance to like the box? I don't think that there are. Unfortunately, in this situation, little girls enjoy TikTok. Little boys do too. I, I don't see it as much. You see a lot of the, like Savage, right? Kids doing Savage, and I get it. It's a fun song. There's a dance to it. I hope that doesn't happen in this case. The box little boys aren't as uh, prominent on TikTok making dances because it's not the coolest thing gotcha. for a bunch of little boys. Let's do a rap song. What like I'm that. saying, and usually I don't I mean you could play it either way. I feel like it's a lot of like finger pointing at women right now. Like oh y'all y'all glorifying whores. And no, y'all 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 y'all, y'all doing no. all this. Women being whores. Hey, <laughs> did nobody say nothing when Beyonce was talking about surfboarding and shit? We, I mean, or we, we would be lying if, if we didn't, as niggas with daughters in here, we don't want our kids seeing that. No. So no. That, there's a point to be made. No, and it's not and it's not just it's not just well, that's on you, not on them. I don't, I don't, I don't relax. I don't <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> niggas are just it's, weird in You America, have a daughter, bro. right? Right. What are you gonna do in terms of what? You know? No. Keep her away from it. I mean the best you yeah, can. Right. And if he hears you know it, mean? she'll get that fire sp- Yeah, not not even that. Oh, no, just, that's, that was all wild. you can do all you can Maybe do is a smack fire out of line I, out, but it's, it's unfair for me to charge the artist. You don't make no sure. song like that. That's how they get paid. Yeah. You make your song. Yeah. As a parent, I got a shield. And you got eyes. My, right. my I got a shield. My point was, our kids could be on Pornhub. I can shield them from that. My point was this energy is not given to men who make detrimental music to at all. society. Not at all. That's a fact. I, I get that. And Talk I'm not, about and, a whole bunch of shit. But that's not true. I do. Because I hate publicly NBA Young Boy. I think he's ruined our teenage man. Yeah, but you're picking him. But there, you listen to other niggas talk about killing, shooting drugs. That's fair. Yeah, all that's, that's not fair. And like, I've used, this is my second time using monolith. Rap music is not a monolith. It's not. Like, 
But I only use him because Conscious I see rap is not the only thing we can hear. I've seen the effect he has on. I've seen his well, name probably more. Well, I, I would speak to so like say the detriment of like WAP and the bigger spectrum is like yeah, you don't want your girl seeing that. You can create a whole you know whole yeah. slew of new horrors coming behind yeah. this. But like we literally see the impact of like what gangster rap kind of gives people mm-hmm. or drill rap or drill. I don't try to don't you know yeah, slow down. Just in general, fair. just well, that kind of rapping kind of about fair. killing niggas. Yeah, no, for sure. But I say I just say rap. He tried, oh, he tried yeah, to like exactly. zone into Chicago real quick. Yeah. He was offended. Yeah. 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 Well, nah, hold on, why not? Now, didn't somebody just pass away due to that shit? Absolutely. I mean, I, I wasn't trying to like shit on. I love Chicago. It's my uncle. I'm talking but, about it in the music, but like I'm saying, so we see that we see that we see that shit. Like literally, you'll see every weekend somewhere a nigga got shot over drugs, money, or some mm-hmm. other shit. Exactly. And that's what most niggas rap about. But we don't. Ain't no dissertations being and, written about niggas rapping about the shit. And there's a reason as to why that is. You know what I'm saying? It's you know yeah. patriarchy, man. That's just real. But it's like right now, the niggas who make the conscious black man's plight uplifting rap, them niggas not rapping. So I don't know what the fuck you, y'all niggas want. You know what I mean? Kendrick, where Kendrick? <laughs> where Kendrick? Where you at? K Dot, Mr. Duckworth. I think I think all he's doing is trying to is understand that that there is a uh, um what's he got a double uh what do you uh standard. Sh- double standard. That's, that's fair. What you said is very making. true. Well, I mean, not even I wouldn't say that because I mean, if it's coming from so if it's males, um, I guess I don't want to say responsibility, but like if it's males doing what they're doing towards women about WAP, you would imagine on the on the flip side, it'd be women's responsibility to kind of call niggas out like, "Hey, we don't like that shit. That's weak. Stop doing that shit." Yeah. If you want to be equal, right? And it's a double standard in many different facets. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, we we let we let niggas slide for being ridiculous. But it's not when, the most vulgar shit that they. have Either one of them have ever said anyway. It's a, as, as a parent, it's your responsibility to make sure your kids shield it. Yeah, out. I mean, at the same time, I would shield my kid from NBA more because I've again personally. But you gonna I, let that rose play on that motherfucking speaker, nigga? Run that yeah. shit. And what gonna, you mean? And you're gonna, gonna, and general, you're gonna like, let him hear Birdman Jr. Murder yeah. Capital. Only key to survive is kill. Oh, that's not true. My kids listen to old school music personally. I mean, I have an album right. while this. But if it. you find if you find your kid listening to Birdman Jr., you're not gonna have an issue. I know you. I'm gonna actually talk about what we listen to though. It's like I let my kid watch a movie like The Weapon. Or play a Call of Duty. It don't mean I don't. I don't. You know, you can't shoot people. And this isn't an attack on you, but I'm saying it can't be. It, I don't have be, a kid that don't. Your but you are, what I'm saying be. is, yeah. you flip. This is a, that young boy. Why are you gonna flip the fucking table over? <laughs> oh, man, I see that. Listen, he's not talking about nothing if, different than the other niggas. It's true, but if nigga, I saw if Zara's first steps is taken like this, nigga, you bad as hell. You upset about that? I, hey, but the, the young boy shit <laughs> is. Shut it up, me, motherfuckers. For example, I wouldn't know him that young boy wasn't for. Kids, I wouldn't. She grabbed. Lar- I saw. Like that's the difference. I've seen it. But it's like we all. But <laughs> I can say the same thing about your parents, about my parents. Oh, these niggas listen to that Lil Wayne nigga. They say the same thing. It they just, could do that. It just happens. And Lil Wayne the was effect, violent, man. The effect of rap music is different it. on everybody. But I listen. I, I listen to Eminem <laughs> yeah. consistently as yeah. a kid. I didn't kill my wife. I don't Facts. or kill don't my listen, mom or hate man, my mom. I, I love music about robbing and killing niggas. It's my shit. I'm. You're a cupcake. No, nah, I'm not no bitch. You got me <laughs> fucked up. That was a nice one. I'm not about to just rob niggas for the That's fuck so of it. So polite. Are you going? You're a cupcake, man. You're a pop tart, sweetheart. You got me fucked up. Nah, man. I, and again, I think like you know, I'm not sure what age I'm gonna let you know. what I'm saying, uh, Atlanta, listen to hip hop. I'm not. I, you, I was. Did you I get was, let? Uh, did you I was get 11 let? Or did or 12. you do it? Yeah, I did. I did it myself. Yeah. But you know, and they're not gonna let. It's um, not a let thing. They gonna make it happen. It's not really a let thing. No, it is a let because. You know, it's certain stuff that your mom knew you were doing and she would say no versus you, you know what I mean? There was, was something you yeah, couldn't do as a but, kid. But niggas also had, hell nah. he also had explicit albums that she would know nothing about. Yeah, yeah not, for sure. Not, not to even start an argument, but we're not being realistic. It's 2020. By the time our kids have phones, it'll be 2028. Yep. Am I gonna check Lala's TikTok to make sure she's not listening to rap music or? That's, nah, that's but there are yet. there are what's your, like what's your favorite on Apple Music? But yeah, there's like there's a specific age group. I mean, like when I my statement about hope kids don't get to it, it's this very specific age group. Bro, that 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 WAP can be detrimental to a nigga that's fourteen. It can, indeed. But hey, yeah. I, I'm also in the. I'm hey, about to go back to I can't not fight about nothing. But I can't fight that battle with a fourteen year old. I'm like, hey man, yeah. You know I mean, I I can't even have a conversation with a seven year old about so wet ass pussy. What they're saying is, you can't even do that. <laughs> Actually, yeah. You know I mean, fourteen is like, hey, you're getting to the age where you know hormones are happening, and we got that right. type of thing. Mm-hmm. First, the seven year old is like. Whew, I never, but I never told my mom like, "Oh man, I seen that tip drill video, mom." Yeah, but you saw it. 
I did. Yeah. And Multiple did. times. All the time. And then, and then she was coming down to Sarah's previous channel. We was just watching cartoons. Hey, my, your dad ever catch you with that? My dad hit the previous channel again. Nah, oh, I never okay. got caught. Nigga. I only got caught. No once. slipping up. <laughs> I, I hit the previous you channel. Try. My dad grabbed the remote and said, You got to hit previous channel and go up one. Ah, but now it's. Okay, there it is. But now previous with technology, stuff. it's like you can watch so you're somebody. So, you're essentially channel surfing when they come in. Yeah. You can watch somebody's recent. You can see yeah. all different types of shit people yeah. are doing. They got, and they got platforms now where like you can you can buy a system of software and control how much your kid is on their social media apps. How much the kid is listening to their music? You can shut down the whole phone at a certain hour, and then Elena yeah. goes to her friend's house and they jamming. It's it's impossible yeah. no, you, to yeah. police. You can't hide you it. Can try. Yeah. But there's again, there's an age like your daughter's age. She never has to know about that song. She doesn't have access to Lala technology. Lala said right now. Lala goes to the boys and girls club. They playing it there. They could. That's a, they the council are playing that shit. They, no, I'm talking about one of her friends. They got phones. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 so, imp- it's imperfect. That's true. Yeah, that's it's, true. It's out there. But it's at the same time. At home, you you absolutely can't. Yeah, she's not listening to WAP at home. Right. But when she's 14 with a phone, it's like... What's she doing right now? Headphone in. She doesn't have tech. tech, tech. It's some hoes in the <laughs> stuff. Nah, man. She watches she 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 Hey, if you, hey, if you hear... You're going to be living when you hear a humming. <laughs> they, 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 they learn the words to these songs so fast. Oh, man. But no, I, no I, your school I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that to condemn Meg or Cardi or whatever. I have, I've, I've yet to do that. That's yeah, not it's again, it's not their fault. That's what they do for a living. Right. And again, nobody says anything, even Beyonce, when it's, you know... She's a nasty bitch. She, Beyonce got some lyrics. She do. You know what I mean? They shouldn't be judged for the art. Monica Lewinsky on my blouse. That like, that's a, that, that's a, I love that is a That is a high-grade lyric. She Monica Lewinsky, or he, he Monica all on my blouse, but it's like, I know. That is nastier than what yeah. it is. For sure. Yeah. That's nasty. Uh, um, you got on her clothes. Yeah. Like, in the limo, you busted on your wife. Like, that's... That's what really happened there. But I think she like that splat. That splat. That splat. Just that splat. That splat. That splat. Uh, <laughs> and nobody attacked her for that. But I think, and I think the issue is, is that again we're living in a system that heralds men more than women. But so I'm talking about Beyonce right now. I, I'm, but I'm saying in general, that's why we got all this backlash for WAP because people are saying, "Oh man, what they doing is nasty. How dare they?" But we don't give a goddamn. When it's little baby or when it's Jay or well, when wait, it's Jay. But just, See, that's, but, that's but, not my I point. I mean, yeah, that's true, but please be clear. They made it a point to make this as nasty as possible. Yeah, for sure. I'm not saying they didn't. I'm not so saying they didn't. So it wasn't like they were just but, doing a regular track but why and they we got surprised? backlash. Those are two of the nastiest bitches I've ever seen. Relax. <laughs> that is your one. I got yeah, you. You're out. That's the one. Early. Why'd you go out so early? That's the I one. Those yeah, are that was, that was that Those nasty. are two of the nastiest young we spoke, we spoke, we spoke Cardi up. Cause it's Cardi Slick. It's her single. It is. Yeah. Featuring Meg. Yeah. It is. She been trying to get back out there. Oh, yeah. hey, it's been dry for Cardi for a minute. Can, can I just say no that, and it's not a shock that this would happen, but Meg washed Cardi like she did, a motherfucker. Up and down. Dancing, like they were at rapping, Cool Car Wash. I mean, just, girl, get out of here. Yeah. Cardi was rapping all and slow and hard. And, and ladies... Your, Put it in your, the little garage. Your pussy is not. Meg was, <laughs> your pussy is not good enough. Hey, Meg was on that. He don't, like the, he don't like that shit. I'm sorry, Meg was floating. Yeah. Cardi can't rap. I, you well, know. I, so to me, it's gotten even worse now because now I know she's not writing the shit. I'm like, oh, yeah. Meg she, wrote oh, it. She off beat. Can mm-hmm. Meg write it for Get Cardi out of here? Hey, it didn't sound like it. Meg was dance, was rapping circles around yeah. Cardi and B. And ladies, look here. I don't care how fire your pussy is. You gotta cook and clean. I'm gonna help him there. Um, what not, he means not, by that is Cardi said, "I don't cook, I don't clean." I, I know, but rain. Cardi's rich. She's That's rich. it. She's a superstar. She's style. rich. You have to want to be a partner to a person. Is what, is what we is what Ruff meant by that. Life's yeah, a, I don't know. We yeah. both gonna cook and clean. Bro. Yeah, That's if why you cook I got better, you, you it, gonna cook. It definitely came off as you cooking and clean around my house. We we have to be a You're partnership. Married. Who cooks better, you or your wife? I cook uh, a thousand times better than my. So who cooks? I do. The better cook, and that's why I got the rent out plan. And the better cook, damn, she she dropped down one knee for you. Uh, The better cook is always gonna cook. Oh, for sure. Nine times out of ten, I'm sorry, you're the anomaly. It's gonna be the lady. Sorry. (laughs) Nah. Um. Damn, I forgot what I was about to say. Never mind. Go. Oh, I just don't want to hear Cardi rap anymore. I know she don't write it because she's not really good at rapping. You still a Cardi fan? I like Cardi B. I thought the video was fire. In here, the video's, the video's yeah. for us. You know the cra- We didn't even get the real video. That's edited. There's a real one. Yeah. Out. Oh, there, there's please, a porno. Please, please show me the BET uncut. Hey, you say them, something. Them things. The, video, the the guys talking about the video is weird to me. Yeah, talk. We don't want no. 
I, I wanted like, to see it. I, I wanted like, to get a good look at it. I like again, him nasty. I wanted Personal. to evaluate the video. I did. Didn't care much about the lyrics, actually. No. I said, oh, Cardi ain't got no The visual was crazy. The visual was crazy. Okay. When they're in that water, rubbing on each other. Yeah, that's that video. That's that's for us. Pressure. They didn't make that for women. like to know I've been very quiet over here. In case that's okay. Any, in case anybody's listening. Yeah. Hey, I don't, Listen, I don't, nope. have, I don't have no time. I can, I can say <laughs> the, whatever I want. The lyrics are for the women. The video is for us. six one. <laughs> Note the time. Didn't say a word. Is that from the latest one? No, no, that's that's old. An old. I never got to watch the latest one. Beating off in the window. It's not really stand up. You beat it. Okay, it's elite. No, it's but good, it's not though. like something you have to see. Oh, the new one. Yeah. Oh no, the new one's decent. But what we're talking about is classic. That way, it's classic. Uh, Killing Me Softly. No, that's for what it's worth. Yeah, for what it's worth. Yep. I don't know them by name. He's got the porn mustache. You don't. Know haven't watched my that one. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> I haven't watched that. <laughs> that's one. what we always make about if, to catch a monkey and fuck it. That's that one. Yeah. That's the shit. That's about the guy beating off on the bus. He shot the shit off like the Matrix, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, what next you suck balls, but do you suck these balls? Anything <laughs> other, uh, for those wop. balls are as smooth no. as eggs, <laughs> for sure. Hey, listen, there's always gonna be a good nasty song come out, man. We've been making nasty songs yeah. since songs came out, yeah. man. Since songs been songs, yeah. yeah. Indeed. If you think right. Michael Jackson and Marvin Gaye, them niggas wasn't nasty, they was nasty. At the same time, though, they also got this. Reaction. Let's get it on. I mean, it's dog nasty. Yeah. Those when those when same, I get that feeling, I need. <laughs> <laughs> those same nasty songs, not, not not Marvin Gaye, that didn't count. But like Two Live Crew, they also got this flag. Like it's not. It's, this is a new flag. Yeah. Right. Oh, Luke kept the flag. Niggas was definitely stomping out nasty. CDs in the street. Like yeah. hey, our kids don't need this. Uh, yeah. They just can't do that anymore. Indeed. Can you imagine, nigga? Mm. What's her name? C. Dolores Tucker or something like that? She was about that, nigga. Hey, over shout top. out to Rock the Boat. We should do a nasty songs playlist. We can. Rock the Boat is a top tier nasty song. Got her killed. Lee was Some, nasty. Some daddy got her killed. You know, daddy got her killed. You know why Lee was nasty? I'm not going to say why she was nasty. She rocked the boat, working in the middle transition. Really for sure. Stroke it. Aaliyah was up. She was fucking 30 year old niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Aaliyah was. That's all nasty. He is going to cut that. That's one of my favorite. Aaliyah songs. wasn't fucking them niggas? Yeah. No, nah, I didn't say she wasn't. Them uh, niggas is wrong. Not said, her. I just don't think one of them was her well. husband. <laughs> yeah, one of them was still too old to be that. Yeah, for and Jay Z sure. definitely smacked a couple <laughs> times. I'm sorry. Nobody gets, the, nobody gets off the hook like Jay Z. Yeah, no, nobody's gotten away with pre- like this Jay likes shit. them young. Pedophilia like He's Jay-Z? always liked them young. And pedophilia rounds with a bunch of shit. I'm sure. I that's, that's why he's in the bar. That's why one of his drops is. They tried to pin the. That's why one of his drops is. Yup. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly why, because that's how he like them. Young hoes in the house is so necessary. <laughs> no, bro, this uh, is so necessary. Are you telling your age? Is that necessary? <laughs> <laughs> That's not okay. <laughs> it's not. Move on. It's Where not, man. Next. Not cool at all. Not okay. Damn it. Move. It's hot than a bitch. B I U. You didn't tell me your AC man was coming. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I thought Next. He, I thought you said Next. your AC man was coming. He did. Come. We got he told me it's kind of ugly in here. <laughs> That's it. First things first is we, we have to replace the whole system. <laughs> um. Shout next, out to wop. Till next summer, yeah, shout out to wop. This is better off being the gym. Basically. Everybody should have some. Indeed. And if you're over the age of, you know what I mean, 17. After 16, we can't do nothing. They yeah. got to do what they got. You got to watch yeah. wop, man. Yeah. And if and if you are, I'm not going to say what I was going to say. Yeah, good. Look at you getting better. It was bad. Yeah, yeah that was, you, wasn't, you didn't Ask want that. Ask me the question. No, hey, if you got the wop, let me know about it. Oh, that you can say that. Yeah. yeah. They're all going to say they got the wop. And that's not true. But I'm a, I'm a prove it type nigga. So yeah. everybody's just, not having. Don't just tell me. Show, show me. me. I'll, I'll be honest with you. It's too many single people for everybody to have a wop. Show me your wop. I get sick of that. <laughs> Listen. Show us your wop. Apparently, if, apparently, if it's not wop though, it's the nigga's fault. It's always blaming the man. Okay. That's just a, these are the things I've seen since it came out. Not like, true. I mean, I, there's there's a play there. Yeah. I believe. Because I'm gonna it, say this: if sometimes it's the wop, and then when you come over, it ain't the wop no more. Then maybe it is you. Yeah, but if it's but four I, niggas in a row and ain't no wop, like, maybe you ain't got the wop. Not saying I have this issue. I feel like if it's a nigga, then we don't get that same courtesy. Oh, they no. like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, nigga? Nah, I can't relate. Can't relate. The <laughs> niggas get tore down. Is his point, right? Mm-hmm. That's your point. Yeah, niggas get tore down. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Hey, Blue Super Bowl this week. All right, this week. Uh, shout out to Doctor uh, Hill. He tried to play us this week. He said, "I shout spy you." <laughs> no, he was trying to get re. That's well known. Niggas was on your head. Yeah, though. they came and got me. Ah, for the picture. Yeah, I spy a cast member. Basically, it was an old picture. Of, you weren't uh, talking about me. He was talking yeah. about you. Barry White. Barry White is you. 
No, I'm Al Sharpton. You're Isaac Hayes. Up. And apparently I'm Isaac Hayes. Bad you, mother hey, sucks. Hey, hey, and whole time, ain't love in the far right corner. He but sure hey, is. Hey, <laughs> ain't love in the far right corner. That's Teddy P. Teddy P. Yeah. <laughs> don't put Teddy P. Hey, love, man. if you're listening. He don't get down like that. Uh, Double A Naptown. So, hey, the homies at the pregame had such a great interview of Race to 5-9, dropping gems throughout the entire thing. Mans is really a top 10 lyricist all time. Word to deuce. Lloyd should have asked him if he felt any pressure from Logic, though. The answer is no. He feels no pressure because he's at a point in his career We fucked with Logic, though. Yeah, but still, he's mm. he's going to put out content as he sees fit, and nobody can pressure him at this point in his career. Uh, TZSSE said that feature price just went up. Uh, Matt, no, nah, not Matthew 2000. Uh, 301 Obi said, thank you, Kylo Re and Deuce, for this Jonathan Isaac and Myers Leonard segment because y'all made some great points. And Lloyd Willing and David Ruffin were cha cha sliding around the uh, questions. Yeah, it was a healthy I didn't conversation. Think I was. was I? I mean, depending on what party you heard, I don't know. I don't. I think at the point where I was like, I asked you a question, you just wouldn't ask my question. I think that was both of y'all. It was, you know, no. it happens. I thought it was weird. No, I don't know if I. I feel like I was on the right side of the argument. I don't remember though. I was well, drunk. Jeff, I think you're right side getting the argument. Said, LOL, he didn't lead y'all astray. Get hip. He posted his C jelly for a C moss. Apparently, that's hot out in these streets. Uh, Mira Belize said, Deuce, are you something? Apparently, she was at a uh, she saw a plasma bank. She asked if I wanted to yeah. go. I'm above that now. Oh, yeah. but 18, 19 years old. That's the old me. We don't believe you. need more bitch. people. Look at my, look at my I man. miss the that's old Kanye. Kanye. That's promotion man over there now. I'm, I'm healed. He got them tracks. I'm healed. Uh, Wit, Wicked Wit of the West said, Death Miss when J. Cole used to give us both. Shout out to her for agreeing with me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a Murdoch the second said last thing he, he did a bunch of tweets in a row damn near I'm doing the he did one. went crazy man uh, I'm listening to this episode oh my goodness gracious the bottle was broken bruised baffled but most definitely that blessed boy. y'all yeah, brothers got a different kind of comedy on lock definitely leave this review so I can get this book too he Langston Hughes with it he yeah, is, he, man. that's a talker there <laughs> he's an alliteration Word Smith an alliteration giant uh, Foxy Brown 927 said y'all should hit Cash Doll up she was at the crib too. Oof. We didn't think about Cash. We should have. We should have. Shout out to Cash Doll. Cash Doll strikes me as an LA nigga now, though. She's probably in LA living right. her life. A her, lot of people, a lot of people blow hey, up and they just go to LA. Her it's, fine 45 year old ass. It's so cold to D. Because Chris it's hit so me cold. up. I get it. In the D. Chris was like, y'all should get a, uh, damn, what's fam name? Uh, Sada Baby. Sada Baby. I feel like Sada Baby's an LA nigga now, probably. Damn, my list about to be long in the bitch. I like <laughs> you forgot Baby about Sada Baby, huh? Uh, bro, Big Chuck said, even though the NBA kneeling is more for show, it hurts the cause when people try to play both sides. Saying BLM but not kneeling shows disunity. That makes the entire movement easier to pick apart when protesters can't even agree on how to protest. Did you uh, text that person? I think that's valid. No, I did not. Did you text that person? <laughs> Those are your sentiments exactly. Uh, I, get, I get it. Sleepy Foolie said, David Ruffin, after the It's Not Delivery, it's the generous joke. He Boy, has picture uh, you Vince Carter doing this over. That was a premium top For sure. five all time. Stand up type shit. Noe G33 said, Moesha was dating but not hoeing. Kim got her own show. That's why she wasn't in later episodes. Brandy was also a known hater back then. Yeah. But Brandy I don't know if her and Countess had beef. No, Damn. that's why Countess got Aunt off the Bivder. show. In those later seasons, she's Kim not on the show because. The rumor is that she, she, could, could she was better. more talented. She could sing but better she, than Brandy. So we had to find out if there was an overlap between the Parkers and Moesha. Well, first of all, let me just put it out there. Countess Vaughn does not sing better than Brandy. It depends on what kind of singer you want. I want somebody to make hit songs and sound good on them. I think they both could have did that. I think one of them did it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm saying, I think they both could have done it. Shout that, out to that boy, Eli. I was watching <laughs> uh, I was watching old episodes. They was making fat jokes about Countess Vaughn. She wasn't even fat yet. Oh, uh, the, the first episode. Yeah, all kind of fat. Jokes. Yeah, man, they wouldn't fly today. Oh, I mean, on. let's be very clear. Hakeem didn't want her because she was fat. Right. That's the only reason. Well, and she, was, and she was thirsty. She was thirsty. She was thirsty. She was thirsty. Yeah. Some yeah. niggas don't like thirsty girls. She was that cool. nigga would go. He would get the heebie jeebies when he saw her. Uh, <laughs> Chicago Liz said Angela in disguise as Dev Top 5 Brandy. I also had that. I was just too drunk to read it. Uh, also, y'all capping on Titty Boy a little. I don't know if we did now. We were not. We did not. I, I hook, didn't. I didn't watch the battle. Hook had to, versus. You had to fill me in. Uh, Miri Ruli also said, "I really love these interviews. I bought the ebook, but after the interview, I need a physical copy. Super excited for the weeks. This week's interview. She talking about last two weeks ago when Drew was on. You know, it's free. You Drew. Review. Jizzle on the fiddle said, "It's not delivery. It's degenerous. I didn't spit my water out. We really had one last week. That was great. Yeah. It was heat, man. Proud of you, man. It, it was so good. He went like this after he was." 
Uh, Brother to the Night <laughs> said, Deuce Royce hit you with the niggas want my old shit, buy my old album. He definitely did. He told me to listen to Bar Exam 4 again because you're not getting five. And he said it twice. He did. He re yeah, re that yeah. shit. Uh, Mike XC said, Deuce showing sympathy because Logic got his feelings hurt is nuts. I'm with Re. He's soft. I think this is harsh. SOF capital T. No, he was. When Joe Budden said that shit, he did. He was ready to jump off the cliff. Joe said it a lot of times. It's not like it was the first time yeah. he said it. Joe trash. It. Joe trash. Says it He's every trash. Every time he talks about Logic. He's he trash. Uh, Young Seven said Kamala's manager was a white <laughs> man in a safari zookeeper outfit. I want Vince McMahon locked up for this. Now, I heard her name pronounced as Kamala today on CNN. That don't make it right. I'm just, well, I don't well, know what it is. Find her saying. I didn't hear her. That's I think it's it Kamala, though. I think it's Kamala, too. I didn't hear her say it. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> Tasha D said, "Okay, rough is now. Okay, rough is now my favorite with the Ellen joke." Uh, Renee DeWise said, "This Jonathan Isaac and Miles Miles Leonard convo was yikes. I have many thoughts. Ask her what they were. She ain't back. I, I wanted to know." Uh, DJ Draftpick said, "Talk y'all shit. Name a location, and they're on the way." <laughs> Uh, e Hodges says, "I've been a fan since uh, he's he talking to me. So I've been a fan since you brought the cooler on vacation. Good to see y'all winning." Shout out to him. I uh, bet you got that bitch in the garage pristine right now. No, I slept in the uh, I slept in the laundry room, waiting, waiting to go. Once COVID is over with, we're hitting the road. Hit Tight. the road, Jack. Uh, Jigga, oh, that's last week's. Never mind. That's all I got this week. Blessed about. Join the conversation. See you next week. For yeah. sure, man. Listen, man. Shout out to those blessing about. That means a lot. We love to see the interactions on Twitter. If you have not done so, please write us a review on iTunes. Shout out to last week's review. This is coming from really underscore Izzy. He Stop called Chris, a review man. for episode 42 with a flame emoji because he's someone who's trying to get that book. Shout out to Andrew, man. Listen, if you write a review, your name will be thrown in the hat. The first five reviews is Andrew's interview. Your name will be thrown in the hat for a mm -hmm. Free signed oh, okay. copy of his book, so make sure you check that out. All right, man, he rated the the, uh, the podcast five stars. Great awesome. interview with Andrew! Exclamation point! I'm definitely looking forward to grabbing the book. It was also great to hear how y'all crew started from humbled beginnings. Very humble, very inspiring. We appreciate you, really, Izzy, man, and good Appreciate luck, man. Hopefully, your name is drawn for the Circle of Leadership, the book, which I'm sure is going to be fire. Yeah. Shout out to Chris, so much man. Better. Next, oh my lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh, it's hot in a bitch. All, All right, right, man, listen, man. Before we uh, get into this interview, listen, shout out to Rose Spit. Shout out to Burn Rubber. Make sure y'all follow Burn Rubber right now. Make sure you follow Burn Rubber brand right now. Burn, burn shout Rubber out to, Detroit. Uh, yeah, sure, the, man. the Burn Rubber paid, they haven't posted in months on months, but Burn Rubber Detroit is the one they're really active on. Shout out to Jay John. He was in the building too. That was pretty cool. Jay John's a Big Shine legend to me. I feel like Big Shine shouted him out on several occasions. Indeed, man. I he was there in the flesh, and he had to. He had the big shine, Jesus lion piece on the on the tuck. Like he had that much. So he's he's on the team. He's team teamed out here, squad member for sure. If something happens, he's probably getting flown. Shout out to, to him. Shout out to all the other niggas that was working. They put us on. They gave us direction on where we should go eat. All that shit. I left my book bag in the store, and nobody told me until I came back. I walked in. It was like, oh, oh yeah, you left that. They bro. was like Nike ooh, with the cup yeah. on it. Ooh, you left yeah, that, bro. <laughs> Now they all had the hair all dump your shit up. in the trash can and be rocking your shit. Right. I don't know. I'm not no disrespect, but shit. has to be expected. <laughs> you love it. We go to boutiques, a lot of fresh niggas just walk around in fresh shit. So I'm sure yeah, that they were plotting so much backpack. pressure to have to work at a boutique, bro. Like to have to bring the fire every, uh, every time you, can't you have clock no in. Bad days, man. They got yeah, some the owner send you home, hey bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you dusty today. You dusty, dusty, bro. You yeah. cutting the bus ass today. You ain't right today, bro. You ain't. You got to stand on your shirt, man. What's the average person? Works what five to six days a week? He, I can't imagine. I got one to two days a week for y'all niggas. They bro. gotta have Maximum. a fit <laughs> every day, a, a solid fit, and the, and the fits were solid. They were fair. They were so fire. much. Pressure. They gotta be good enough to post at least. My boy had on the, he had on like the bape hoodie, but then had it like it was crazy. You gotta be able to transition to a hookah bar after. <laughs> you gotta be able to. Step you gotta in hookah be ready to go straight to the function. Oh, yeah, you, gotta go home you, gotta be, you can't. Yeah. If you have to go home and change, you did it wrong. That's real. Them niggas was fresh in there. Mm -hmm. Shout out to, to uh, Ro, man. We walked in. The nigga said, what up, though, seven different times yeah. in a row. For sure. Hey, nice to meet you, man. What up, though? 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 Like, Some Detroit damn, shit. It is. He meant that shit. Detroit. They said shit a million times. Hey, my, what up, though? What up, though? Ten freaky girls. Y'all didn't say how you what, though. Y'all scary. I've never, never. I don't ever use that. I use how you Seriously, but, but you should. I fuck with how you Niggas would. didn't want to have a slang clash. Y'all some hoes. don't want no smoke. We got the shit on lock. No, say, how you doing, sir? Yeah. What up, though? Well, Our slang is you. superior, though. 
superior. We're definitely a what's city. good, bro, city. For sure. Good, bro. How you were out the gate? I'm out something. the gate. I love out the gate. I'm, I'm something. Niggas favorites. everywhere say I'm something. Yeah, y'all we, niggas in there cold switching. We made that shit. Oh, shut up. He reaching. The <laughs> niggas in there cold yeah. switching. Y'all was in there cold switching. Nah, man. Shout out to Rose Spit. Shout out to Burr Rubber, man. What's Hope the y'all enjoy lingo. Whatever Chicago says. Oh, a m- a month later. That's Chicago. A month later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they said that up here, cool. We just got that today. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's new down here, baby. <laughs> what up, Joe? Nice, Joe. G. <laughs> hey, Joe is real. Nah, Joe. <laughs> Yeah. We, used to, I, we used to pick up the gang slang um, and be some dumbasses about it. We don't know. Oh, y'all yeah. I, know, I, know, I know you can't. Nigga. I know. I know that you uh, like a what up G nigga. You can't say that to everybody. Bro, yeah. what is you saying, fo? Nigga. Fuck is you saying, fo? Hey, that yeah. niggas on. That's stone. the hell of a place. Niggas man. on stone and everything. Like we just knew what was up, man. Mm. Dangerous. No, no disrespect. Y'all were not on. But stone. you could die. You were not on stone at all. <laughs> Fuck is you saying, fo? You ain't got no mics. They don't call him Jay. Niggas turning to Lil Lord. That's my nickname now, yeah. Lil Lord. They had a whole uh, truck. That? They had a whole truck full of the mics down yeah. there. Mics, foe, Joe. Yeah, dangerous times, bro. Yeah, that's sure. why I say, bro. Now, bro, safe. Hey, stay yeah. dangerous out there, my niggas. My shot time niggas. <laughs> stay thirsty, my friend. That's neutral, bro. It's neutral. I'm a hell of a neutral. My favorite color, green, nigga. I don't yeah. know none of that shit's yeah. about. Brown, nigga. Oh, no, bro, I don't really, mm, that blue shit. I'm mm, cool, bro. bro. Mm, I don't know what Stars? Nah, I don't go out at night. I'm just talking about, brother. Mm. How many points they got on that? Mm, I eat my that's too many for me. with a spoon, nigga. No forks over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, nigga, gang I, ambiguous, I take the spork. I'll take a spork, yeah. I'm a though. spork nigga if I need I'll to. I'll take a spork, though. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Why well, I mean, my heroes? Yeah. You know, I, I know some niggas on both sides, bro. I'm I don't need to wreck my lawn, bro. brother. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I feel what you saying, and I feel what he's saying. You know what <laughs> yeah, mean? Definitely. I'm just trying to say Y'all both make good points and shit. Bro, we walked to the grocery. We walked to, like, to, the, to the corner store. They're like, yeah, who y'all with? Oh, I'm a neutral, bro. I don't, I mean, I'm just trying to go to school. Yeah, that's it, man. Who I'm with? My nigga, my brother. Yeah, yeah. Me and Snacks just walk to the, you know, liquor yeah. locker, trying to get some candy. Yeah, that's it. That's all I want some Skittles, bro. I would, uh, I would stumble out trying to say I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a neutral, bro. I don't, mm. yeah. No, we, we can't be down. We soft, bro. Yeah, I'm, only a, want I'm, us, a, bro. I'm a straight A student, bro. I don't, you know. Yeah, I'm going to college. My mom won't be happy. <laughs> this nigga like, sometimes my class. mom would be upset. You no, know what I mean? It. I thought y'all ca- took care of the straight A student niggas. Like, don't what y'all fuck with me for? Yeah, I'm going to, I'm college bound, bro. I'm supposed to be somebody. For real. For real, I was trying to ride that shit. Now I'm a good student. Yeah, I'm bro. My GPA is solid. Man. I ain't on that shit, bro. I got that third on ACT, That's a tough. Hey, and some people have to make that decision. That's what I wouldn't. I don't want to get on a tangent, but some people, like in real life, they're they're young black males who have to make that decision to be in a gang. And I I would never ever knock nobody for making. Oh, if you're that an decision. average student, it's time to sign up. Yeah, if you jumped in, if you get like, deeds. What the fuck is you going to school for? Yeah, and come like, fuck with us, get this bread, your nigga. Mama, your mom and daddy, you on the corner, nigga. You don't have no daddy. Your mama ain't never home because she working a lot. Don't nobody love you. Your mama ain't but, never home. But these niggas, these <laughs> Man, niggas are showing you love. I, some of these young men have no choice but to be about that gang. Like I would yeah, never knock the, nobody the, for making the environment in some places is insufferable. Like they talk about that shit like in Compton, like it's really like, bro. It, if you, you ain't don't have a dog choices, on the football man. field, basketball, yeah. If you're mediocre, you put the way that. to come out of that mediocrity is to sell the pack. Yep. Or you put or on get that the blue, strap, nigga. Or you put on sell that red. The pack. Mm. Some niggas is just shooters. Two colors. That's, right. That's it. But about Which Rose Spit and Burn Rubber. Yeah, we need to move on. Go and get we the have an interview. Yeah, man. Shout out to Rose Spit, man. The, the interview is beautiful. Shout out to Rose. Shout out to Kimber. I don't, I don't know if I ever own a Kimber, but I'm, oh, I'm he hearing that thing. Was, I thought, was it is a Kimber or a Kemper? Something. But it's a very expensive ad. You'll hear about it. Yeah, you'll die with class. For oh, sure. Man. Indeed. Let's move on, though. From the person I tell you, bro. Lines on stats in the bubble. Oh, it's, it's terrible. Have you seen them released? Uh, it's, it, hey, it's, hey, it's, hey. Some, it's unbearable. Oh, it's Save unbearable. I just, it's bad, it makes me like man. an idiot. It makes terrible. Me, it's I bad. like an idiot. Hey, Rob, for your nigga. Yo, trash ass nigga. Bro, bro spit. Is shooting. Burn rubber Detroit. Next. 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 New crib. Watch a movie. Cause ain't nothing on the news but the blues. All right, man. World news. World news this week. World star. World star. This is not funny, though. Don't pull the thing out. Unless you read a bang. Boom, boom, boom. Bombs <laughs> over bang. Scary shit. Uh, so um, uh, nah, man. 104 uh, people lost their lives uh, in counting. And that's so, not funny. It's not all. Uh, so in Be- in Beirut, which is in Lebanon, you know, I didn't know, you know, maybe I you live know, by maybe Lebanon. Don't. Yeah, for sure. Fuck, you do. Uh, it's it's right there. There I've been was. A, I pulled up to Lebanon before. No fun. A lot of lot of lot of missing teeth in Lebanon. On some bullshit. Yeah. You ain't with Lebanon Big for bullshit. bullshit. Big Come on, bullshit. Bullshit. serious story. I couldn't point out Lebanon on the map. The opioid crisis is up there. It's yeah. out there. Yeah, my cousin, man, he's gotten to those opioids, mom. 
Yeah. I just I don't know. He's but it's changed. okay if you if you take opioids, you know you're gonna that get kid's well taken changed. care. Of. We have to talk about this very serious story. Like the, what com- the commercial where she's like in the chair sunk down. She doesn't do anything anymore. All she does is smoke weed. We don't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what is, what happened to Beirut? Indeed. I uh, know, nah, man. So we don't know. Oh, we well, know. We kind of know some shit. So basically, Beirut. If you're on Twitter, if you're on Facebook, any social media, you've seen it. Essentially, there's this like explosion at this. Seems like it's on a port somewhere, and then 15 seconds later, it becomes like this massive. It looks, it looks like a terrorist attack. An atom bomb. It's like a crater. Off. Um, and a lot of people lost their lives, and businesses were shattered. The whole city was destroyed. Was destroyed. Essentially, the government many years ago received nuclear weapons. Um, I'm not sure where they got them from, but they housed them. They didn't do anything with them. And so now the story is that they just kind of went off. So a lot of the citizens feel as though it's is direct negligence of the political parties that are in power right now in Beirut. How dare y'all do this? How dare y'all do this? How did y'all forget about these fucking bombs just under our house in a in a in a public place like that wasn't like that was a civilized location but at first they said it was fireworks right well there were fireworks going off there were fireworks that were confiscated as well you can see them like popping off before i say something crazy what's up that's why the don don't want y'all to have that shit that was just america in general don't try to have it because i mean what do you do with an atomic bomb to get rid of it yeah like i don't know like where you put it (laughs) (laughs) bottom of the ocean yeah like what do you do that's how Godzilla come out. But it wasn't that. It was like a... It was a yeah, now you got motherfucking Mothra. That's Moth- a yeah. fact. Now you got to deal with Mothra because you want to be one of the Bible Nation. But yeah. it was a... It don't just wake him, wake all them niggas up. <laughs> What's the shark right, movie right. that came out with the big old shark? Uh, Meg. Shark Meg. The Meg. The Meg. Yeah. What are we going to do with that? Meg. Those are going to terrorize our, the world for, for sure. Are those happen? That's real? Megalodons do not exist they used, anymore. Uh, uh, anymore. Not anymore. There might be... Niggas ain't been to the bottom bottom of that bitch. There could be a Meg at the bottom of the ocean? Could be. Chilling. Make the shark. Wait, they they say, they get some fresh air. <laughs> they say Pacific <laughs> Rim is real shit too. Wop. And when they down there fighting with uh, aliens and shit. Yeah. yeah. And, and we don't know what's down there, bro. But not so. Man. So initially, and the way it was presented to us on Twitter is unfortunately it was like presented in a, not a funny way, but oh, it's not a big deal. It's just fireworks going off. It didn't seem like a big deal. That's how it was presented. And we were we were even getting video footage from people that probably perished. Like if you think about some of the videos mm-hmm. we saw, I saw. Have you seen the video of the the women taking the wedding photos? Yeah, yeah. Crazy. She, she survived. Yeah, she survived. But Crazy. there's people where they're, they're recording it, and you can see the cars exploding as it comes toward. Yeah. There's no way they made it. There's no. I way. saw a, I saw a video, and I shouldn't. I should never clicked on it. It was it was literally bodies ripped in half. I saw people like, are getting vaporized. I saw dead bodies like people's legs Pulverized. being separated yeah. from like it was bad. It was, a, it, was a, it was equivalent to being on Hiroshima that day. Yeah. Indeed. And if you and if you said they tr- there's a there's a little map. I wish I I keep forget I keep losing it, but there's a map that shows ch- to give a perspective to like an American citizen. Yeah, put it in Chicago. Chicago being the epicenter yeah. and how far it goes out is ridiculous. Well, not to like Joliet. Oh, dude. It's yeah, ridiculous. It's scary, um, yeah, right, like it's, niggas it's, in Joliet, their windows burst. Is exactly. Lebanon in the UN? I would hope so. I'm not sure. Fact probably, check that. probably not. If they was, are, was, like, somebody's got to step in because you, if, if you can't control yeah. the bombs under the city, is that what the UN does? Yeah, but the problem with the UN is that niggas don't respect it. Nah. Okay. Nah, the UN, UN is, is that is really like, nice dean at school. Yeah. I said the UN because I don't want America to say we're going over there. They're like the UN is like uh like hallway patrol. You know what I'm God saying? Like with the did. kids is like, stop, you need to walk on this side of the room. Your hall monitor, shut and the, the fuck up. And the police are like, man, shut the fuck up. I right. right. bomb ass. your ass. You mean Donald Trump? Basically. Yeah, it's it's not the UN God. is out but no, there. I, they, they I feel play. like you I feel like you kinda downplayed it. I feel like niggas have a certain amount of respect for it. Oh, for, for sure. sure. Not the big boys. But if they don't if you stop get, anything. Uh, America, I don't give a fuck about the UN. Yeah, but don't. We'll take it in our own Lebanon hands. might need to listen to him. Yeah, right. Japan bombs shouldn't be getting misplaced and going off. I don't, they think, were, I don't think they were misplaced. Oh. I think they were housed where they've been housed for 20, 30 years. And that place caught on fire. Yeah, and then boom. And I'm not sure. I don't know of any political controversy that Lebanon has specifically. But you hope there's not foul, well, foul play. It definitely has happened. But I don't know if it's like bigger foul play yeah. than like you know, say Russia is upset and they sent some agent there to net and now. People have lost. Yeah, their lives. I mean, because realistically, say if you want, if you want, if you knew they were there, and you knew if you started a fire there, that would happen. So I mean, you could do that if that's what your goal was. For sure. I'm some but there, at first, it was like, yeah, you can't see, but there's a point where a bomb comes in. I'm like, nobody flew over that and dropped a bomb. Bro. Yeah, no, like, I don't think so. It's just scary, man. There's no way that's not on somebody's camera. Right. I'm, exactly. We know the world we live in. But you no think? Way. But I really thought about the levees. 
That's where my first thought went. Like, they, de- oh. they definitely blew the levees up. I know some folks that live by the levee that keep on telling me it hurt explosions. They blew that shit up. But I don't know. I don't. That, to me, I feel like the government did that. Jet fuel doesn't melt steel beams. I Yeah, I feel like. I don't know if they intentionally blew that shit up. I definitely think it was that an was accident. That was stuff. Yeah. I definitely think it was. We did that shit. An accident. <laughs> Whatever they say we did, we did we that did shit. We did that shit. Yeah. For I don't sure, know, man. It's unfortunate. We hit it. We hit the casualty numbers because we didn't get that up scary. It's scary, man. It's George scary. Bush is on the paperwork for our life. For sure, he signed off on that. One. Definitely. Um, read John Hancock. Where he didn't him? read any of it either. Nope. What am I signing here? Just yeah. one. Just one of them. Cool. Bet. You didn't. Now you didn't. What'd say you say, Jeb? Right. He was fucking shitty. Yeah, the second. Oh, I didn't tell you to knock him. We need the other one. Yeah, one. The second pilot missed. Maybe he was talking to the kids that day. Maybe he was like going to. Hey, was right. He was like this. Oh. I wonder what it was. Uh, hold on. What'd you say? <laughs> say Bro, like this. What do you do? Yeah, Lord Varys came Bro, and talked this to This is what him. you do. Actually. If somebody this is my ear. Hey, hey. Uh, we got two planes in World Trade Centers. What? <laughs> huh? God in, damn it. In New York? Man. You got to be shitting me. Come on. All right. It wasn't supposed to happen. Fuck up real quick. He should have never said. That wasn't until noon. <laughs> <laughs> they knew hey, like Michael Scott sitting in front of them kids. Okay. Like Bro, didn't read another word from that book. Um, uh, and the kids like, <laughs> George, hey, George got some tough hands dealt. <laughs> George is getting. George is having moments that should not have happened to a nigga in the two thousands. Like, why was there even a camera there? Like, I don't. It's crazy, man. Crazy. <laughs> it's too early for something to yeah, go viral. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Damn, what he had, got, so he had not dealt some, some damn, tough hands. Damn, George. He had so he had nine eleven and he had Katrina. Yeah, and both of them were mishandled. And he and he called the the called them refugees. He let that come out of his mouth. Yeah, he also he had did, the man. he said he had like Iraq War, uh, Afghanistan. Oh, he, uh, he was wild. All of that. Man, he sucked. He sucked. And and this he this, sucked, man. He was terrible. And I'd pay to have him back. Oh yeah, I would mind. Well, he was more pay. lovable. He was like a lovable well, idiot. He was a politician. It was, was nothing. That, he made this. He wasn't even shit. really a politician. He was just uh, his dad. He was Governor George Bush for whatever dad it was. was a politician. Check this out. His he dad didn't get the second term. He did. He yeah. didn't. Right. He, he stole it. it. He stole it. Bro, stole it. He stole oh, it. Yeah, the the oh, ballots man. are floating. Stole the it. ballots are at the bottom. Hey, stole it. Florida, sure. Florida at first it was cripping and it was blood. <laughs> yeah, we went to five seconds. We went to bed hey. knowing that Al, Al Gore was, was the president for yeah, like my thirty niggas, minutes. Look here, niggas was gonna end global warming, and they said, "Nope, not today." Hey, hey, Al Gore was president for thirty minutes. We went to sleep knowing. Hey Al, we we had a recount. I went to sleep knowing Hillary Clinton was about to be the president. Nah, nah, nah. Nope, I went to sleep knowing that. The show was present. I was like, Jesus. I want to sleep. I remember thinking, Drunk was like, he's still winning. I couldn't sleep. He's still winning. I tried to sleep through the pain. I was like, I'm just going to They kept saying, <laughs> don't worry. Overnight, it's going to switch. Look where we are now. Right. 245. This nigga's still Hey, up. man, the next day was doomsday. I want to learn about that. It was a cloudy day. When man. you wake up, Ooh. Donald Trump, Donald Trump be your president. Right. She said, uh uh-uh. uh. It's you, over. Yes, sir. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. Right, what else you got, bro? That, oh, shit. Herman Cain uh, took an L. And once again, this is not a funny moment. It's just funny how God does things. Don't talk sometimes. bad about the runner, bro. Trash. Um, so Herman Cain. Trash. You don't need to wear no mask. Nigga died the next week. Herman Cain went to the, went to the Trump rally. I'm talking about dancing, laughing, smiling. I'm at the Trump rally. Look at me. Coronavirus ain't real, nigga. Ha, 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 ha. And actually, he died because he contracted <laughs> COVID nineteen. I see now. So he did. So for me, I feel like both sides rushed in to say one way or the other. We can't either. We can either confirm or deny that he caught COVID nineteen. No, they said no, no. Weeks weeks earlier, they said that he was in the hospital because of COVID. He 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 battled, man. No, he no. Was he, there yeah, for a yeah. Long time. He he was diagnosed with COVID after the rally. He couldn't right. Have, right. And then he died. They died. But we cannot say that he caught COVID nineteen at the rally specifically. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, no, he didn't help his COVID none. No, no, he didn't help his case. But we can't he say he a hundred percent caught it at. The, we cannot say that he definitely but, threw the disease. We can, we but we can say he didn't take it seriously enough, and that's why he's dead for sure. That's what niggas trying to say. I think, huh? No, nah, niggas was like, oh, so he caught it at the rally. He didn't. Catch, we don't know he caught it at the rally. Listen, if, <laughs> okay, so if you already got the COVID gene. Now you can let COVID just the, the, another. Virus get into your body. If he didn't rally? catch it at the rally, that means he had it before the rally. Nah, he couldn't have it before the rally because they like they tested people before the rally. Allegedly, that's a lie. That could be a lie for sure. It's a lie. People they was testing. You think all them Republicans all the niggas put them um, temperature the guns ir- to their the head? The irony is definitely there because he clearly was not taking it seriously enough. Because even if you took it seriously, you wouldn't have went to the rally. Yeah, because the rally was massive. You just had to sign an NDA to say if you die afterwards, it wasn't your fault. So you. 
If he didn't he take dies, it seriously. He dies. If he dies, he dies. But to say he caught it there is a stretch. To I me. get it. I understand that completely. However, what was he doing? He was speak. He was speaking bad about COVID's and, name. And I took that personally. Yeah. That's, that's COVID. COVID. <laughs> oh, this you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, that tweet is cold it blooded. Is. But it needed to be said. No, it didn't, <laughs> man. It's the Michael Jordan meme when he was doing this. <laughs> I thought I thought Herman Cain was Ben Carson at first. I'm like, that got Ben, but I had it mixed up. Same nigga yeah. though. Shout out to the gift. That, I hope the gift of hands stay alive, man. Even though he's a goofy ass nigga, <laughs> I don't want the gift of hands to die. Ben bro. and Herman are the same nigga. So Ben's a genius, I guess. Yes, he just hey, he's always older. But uh, no, Herman Cain was like, you know, this great, fantastic businessman. Yeah, genius did are two a different lot things. of cool yeah. things historically, for sure. He just happy Republican. But yeah, the left was like, see, he caught it there, and the right was like, they're making fun of him being dead. They're uh, evil. You know they're, they yeah, it's it's terrible. I was watching both coverages. It was hilarious. To, mm, not hilarious. It was interesting to watch both. For sure. You know, you might like. Uh, you seen the movie Bombshell? No, it's pretty good. Sounds white. It's about. <laughs> It's about three white women. Can't. Oh, I know what you're talking about. About yeah, the Fox it's, News it's anchors. It's Solomon. I don't care. You would like it. You can't say that. I don't be caring about their movies, bro. White I people have some good it. movies, bro. Hmm? Those, white people have some white. good movies. I believe it. I just don't. What about Bob? Hilarious. You should watch some good white Bombshell, movies. Bombshell, no, that's specifically about Fox News, isn't it? Yeah. Why would and I the like it so much? allegations. Because you like the, you watch the, the politics and shit. It's good. You should watch Molly's Game. It's a good movie. Molly's Game is good, too. Fire. It's white as fuck, though. It's about... Yeah, sorry Ooh. guys. Yeah, I mean, most else? movies Watch are. I watch. <laughs> nigga, nigga, black and black and black movies. Next. Yeah, the five bloods. I watch Payton and the, the Wood five this bloods. and Brown Sugar. <laughs> like nigga, that's all. Just like damn. <laughs> and two Tyler Perry plays. Nah, see, I don't watch Tyler Perry <laughs> at all. <laughs> so it's weird. There's a disconnect. It is weird. It's disconnect. <laughs> he's he's the one. The plays are better than the movies though. Sometimes well, I will never know. Bro, the film that praise is such a fire movie. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Crazy. Oh, the film oh, that He don't even dress movie. like a lady in that one. Uh, Watch that one. He got a fro. And he's and uh <laughs> so and my nigga from Soul Food, the TV show smacked. Is over. there a man in Family of the Praise with braids with a braid wig? Nope. No, nah. Really? Family of the Praise is good, man. And Taraji P Henson gets smacked over a counter. No, no, it's not like that. I'll be honest. Same, same and I don't thing. hate Tyler Perry movies. <laughs> the Family Praise is an outlier. It's like it's what heat. It's doing really the, the ones where there's no Madea or Heat. The Family Praise, well, Daddy's I'll, Little I'll Girls. I've seen. Uh, I watched. Why Daddy's Little Girls is stupid. Why I get married is good. Why I get married? Both is good. Why I get married are fire. Second one was a the second one was okay. Yeah. It ended but funny, but if you watch Why I Get Married, you've got to watch Family Praise. Yeah. This is really good. I see what I can do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love Why I Get Married. Anything else, Lloyd? That's it, man. Thoughts go out to Beirut for sure. Um. Oh shit. Oh, last thing. Donald Trump. He's a wild person. Basically said like, "Oh man, I wish uh, I can never say her name." Get slain. I wish her well in jail. I wish her well. Hope nothing bad happens. He said, "No. Listen. I mean, her boyfriend went to jail. Wink, wink. And he died. We don't know what happened to him. We don't know what he was murdered in his jail cell. (laughs) So you saw to it. Yeah. So yes, I don't want to have any problems. And the problem is that it contradicts the attorney general and it contradicts the reports about what happened to Epstein." Because the report said that he committed suicide, yep. but Donald Trump is suggesting that he doesn't it was know what a happened. Suicide. Right? I don't know what was it. What do you think it was? He's all, yeah, all of a sudden he doesn't. All of a sudden niggas is innocent to proven guilty. But when Anybody the Supreme Court file was up for debate, nigga, I mean we've all seen law abiding citizen. Right. That's what happened. To the yeah. And nigga got that T bone and nigga <laughs> carved him out. And honestly, <laughs> what it is is that it's cheese pizza. I really, I, I don't know what's going to happen Stuff when the crust, reports nigga. come out, but it's going to be a sad day for Hollywood. I wonder what the stuff crust means. Yeah, give me the stuff. You know exactly. Give me the you stuff know what the stuff crust, crust is. That's the, is that like the chubby kids? The or stuff something? crust was always mozzarella. <laughs> never. Number cheddar. one. Next. Never, well, they would never. Be, if it's stuff crust, that means that they're bigger. They're bigger people, right? I ah, feel with white. Next. Ugh. Next. Yeah. So they want the you. Uh, never mind. Nah, it's just, you know, talk about it. It's what you want to talk about. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we cool. Next. Play the next drop, man. <laughs> To say that we know what Marvin Gaye is doing right now is his daddy had him dastardly. Fucked up. It's crazy. His daddy had him fucked up, but he also had his daddy fucked yeah, up. Yeah, so. I mean, it was you or me, bro. His daddy told him, if niggas hit me, niggas is dead. Yep. <laughs> and if Marvin Gaye was niggas. Hit you with that thumper. <laughs> All right. So, uh, real quick. So, I did not partake in the verses this week. Did y'all watch it? I did. Okay. Thoughts? Um, 
It was weird. So, we thought it was. so, so it was what I thought it was. Yeah. This is so one of the rare off, times where I've heard it was what we thought it was going to be. So they wasted. First of all, two chains wasted a couple bangers in the pregame before niggas even came out. They wasted uh, Riot and KO. Weird. Oh, he blew KO. Wasted it. Didn't know weird. That. I, I, I caught the middle of it. That's okay. why I didn't watch the beginning. Um, two. Two Chains played a lot of songs he's featured on. A lot, a lot. Of like no, at, at he certain was point, it was like four niggas. or five in a row that weren't him. We knew that. He was. I'm gonna tell you why. So, so even if you think Two Chains won, some people did. At a certain point, he looked at Rick Ross and said, "You a bully, bro." Yeah, he knew what was up. Talk with. And Stop. it's like Stop. Rick, Rick Ross played shit like. Rick Ross took hustling, easy on and he played Santorini Grease and he played Mafia music hey. and he played BMF. He hey. had Sim was just so big. It was then he was getting a massage. Let me tell you, it's crazy. That. And then he played Tears of Joy. No, it was but hold on, it, it, everybody knew what happened. But it happened. He threw the Jay Z Kanye boot bop combo. The uh, and fuck with me, you know over. I got it. And it was over. He went fuck me, you know I got it. Devil in blue dress. Yeah. Boom, boom. Two chances like, like I was gonna, go, I was gonna dress. pick this one for you too, big dog. This is a hit right here. Hey, he did. Nigga, two chains fell like glass jaw on my head this bunch out. Shut up. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. That was a crazy comment because we all know how Rick Ross got down on that devil in the blue dress. Even nigga don't like Rick Ross. Literally. Know how he got down Bro, on Devil in the Blue the Dress. The timeline, me included, you all you seen was there it go. Oh damn. It's <laughs> happening. <laughs> there it is. Cause everybody knew. The devil in the blue dress came on, you're done. So I heard at the end of it, uh, Swiss Beast drunkenly said, Hey Tim, you think we can get Ye and Drake? Man, no. That's not happening. No. So we don't um, know we don't know what's next. I, I, I will say this, man. I, I was proud of Two Chains. Because I felt he like He tried his best. Two his chains best. He just didn't have it. He didn't have the he didn't have the doesn't have the catalog. He didn't have the catalog. There, no, Rick there Ross. were niggas that felt like Chains won. They don't like Rick Ross. It just the only it's like it was, if you listen, it's like no, like he didn't. It wasn't as bad. You know, what we learned about this versus shit. It's never as bad as you think it's gonna be. Right. This one was fifteen to five. Mm. Got you. Thirteen to seven at best. All right, we move on. I don't know who's next. We'll find out soon. They use about drop a fly. Drake not doing time. it. He don't fuck with Swiss B. Swiss was just talking that. Swiss shit. Was talking shit like a week ago. Called him a little boy. Yeah, he not doing it. You better be careful. Yeah. I become see what Alicia hitting for. Nigga. And then what? Nigga. They got shit. killed. She got took once. She get took again. Hey, right. They could do the unthinkable. They can make it right. look They crazy. got chemistry. <laughs> Fireworks. <laughs> Today is the day. <laughs> uh, sad story. Um, back to Chicago, and I'm not gonna pretend like I knew this nigga or I was hip on. I was hip to him, or whatever. But FBG Duck was a young rapper in Chicago, and he was in some situations with some people, and they pulled up on him in broad daylight. Mm. And shot him and the two people that was with him, mm. and he's the only one that didn't make it out of it so far. I think the other two are in critical condition. I think they're fine now, though. Oh, I know. But, and of course, it's 2020, so we see his last moments, damn near on the ground, like trying to crawl. It's bad. It's yeah. couldn't move on from that. Yeah, That's if cool. you, I will say, if you listen, he had a song called "Dead Bitches" that he dropped a few weeks back. Oh man, and oh, he man. was wild and didn't deserve what happened to him, but. Yeah, Lupe has some interesting comments about that, man. He's basically saying, like, you know, we glorify this music, but these are really the lives these people live, man. And so like Royce was saying, like, bro, you yeah. play football? This is flag football. You shouldn't have to live like this once you make right. it. But they're saying they got to – this is, like, the reality that they're rapping about. And so, the you know what I mean, the consequences of what they're rapping about, it always comes back at some point. You know what I'm saying? It's sad, man. Uh, yeah, I, the the saddest part was him posting is like him, like nobody's helping him. He just on the ground on his stomach, like it's weird, man. I, I do hate, better. I hate seeing niggas perish on, yeah, on we camera. Do better, it's bad. Uh, so not rumor mill, but rumor mill. So takeoff and common were both associated with domestic, not domestic, but sexual assault this week. Indeed, takeoff has a case. I don't Ellen think Show. that common does have a case. But you guys remember Jaguar, right? From back in the day, she was she was, she she did music back in the day. Yeah. But I guess her and Common talked. She got a job now, and she told a story about how Common tried to put his dick in her mouth while she was asleep, and she was upset about it. Y'all niggas are okay with that? Who you? Oh, okay, I know what you're saying. You, okay. you niggas Nate. think that's okay? It's all about Nate Park. Not so what we said. Yes, the we fuck it is. Yes, the fuck it okay. is. Now I'm a, I'm gonna take a similar stance. I mean, you kind of no, I don't want to say that. Oh. No, no, I mean, I, Can't say, I, you got to let Common defend himself to some extent. I've heard you niggas get on this here pregame podcast said she opened her mouth and she sucked it. It was cool for him to stick uh, to Oh, no, but Jaguar didn't. He was just poking her. See the <laughs> difference? <laughs> All I'm saying is. So, 
It's 50 50. If you stick your dick in a sleeping bitch mouth, uh, you're out. I'm sorry. I ain't gonna say you're trying to be an ally calling bitches. All I'm saying. Saying. So I can stick a nasty nigga can stick his dick in a sleeping woman's mouth and she suck it as cool. If she don't, then he deserves what he get. He's it's it's cool for a nigga to take that chance. You got it. That's fucking <laughs> <laughs> niggas are sick. You niggas are disgusting. No, so you I, disgust me. Honestly speaking, I didn't look into the details of either case for real, so I don't really know any details on takeoffs. I know I think takeoff has an actual like assault. Yeah, case. I think he's yeah. Here's yeah, a case. Yeah. Jaguar Wright was just on Instagram live spilling beans. He took off again with <laughs> Nate Parker shit. <laughs> It was rape, but she finished and swallowed. Like, it's weird. It's weird. Oh, Colin, my you can't God, say, you niggas are sick You can't say it was rape, but you can't. Nah, I'm saying, like, it's what they call it, but you they had a moment. Sick. You know what I mean? We've already decided on this here podcast, if the woman says she feels like she's been raped, then. Uh, that's true. That's as far as so moving on, new releases. I'm gonna just run them down. So Anna, Amine dropped the album. I like the Amine. It was mad. Way, way better I'm than that last one. It. Right. I'm not mad at it. Uh, Popcon. Shout out to Jid rap it on that. Dropped some tings for you guys. Some island tings for Popcon. Anybody listen? I, I don't listen. Apparently, the one with Drake is very fire though. Yeah. I uh, heard it. NLE Chopper dropped his tape. It had the it had the uh, fresh <sighs> does it beat again. It does. Shout out to Camelot. Yeah, it had the Camelot. It's, and I'm and I like man. I like it's Shot of Flow hard one. To get through, man. I like Shot of Flow two. I like Shot of Flow three. Shot of Flow four and five, bro. It's just a lot, bro. It's <laughs> like it's uh, just, just like a lot, bro. Guns, guns. Yeah, guns, all he's rapping about guns, he's rapping about guns. women and shooting niggas, which I get. Yeah. But uh, it's a lot, it was cool. Man. Rapid fire. Uh, the baby dropped. Uh, blame it on baby deluxe because everybody's doing deluxe. Now. I did not listen to deluxe. I made sure not to. That's cool. He dropped deluxe. I think it's like ten more tracks. Nope. There is. Listen, there is a, a track on there that is fire. Go. It's two on there. <laughs> it's two on there. It's very good. I've that, always that, liked light skin. Go is old though. Go to my one Quavo. Nah, the one where he's rapping real fast, switch up the flow for some purpose. I was like, you okay, hate the baby. okay, the he baby. Hates you uh, hate the no, baby. the uh, the go. You yeah, hate the baby. Um, the, you no don't dri- like the, baby. the no dribble fire too. There's some songs on there. It's just a lot. Anytime you drop a deluxe, it's hard to because he did it. He did his deluxe where he like mixed them in. You damn near can't even pinpoint the deluxe tracks. On yeah. He's still rapping the same. Uh, yeah, it's not. He's the same bars, he's same not, flow. He's not a. Uh, he's he's not a superior rapper. Victoria Monet dropped an R&B tra- album he's called Jaguar. Don't talk about his I'm trying to get like through it. all of these. Okay. Jaguar, Victoria Monet's r and I thought it was good. It's like a nine pack. I got to check it out. Uh, Ride Wave, who I am not hip to at all. Oh, uh, man. Hey, y'all he, have to explain to me Ride Wave. Ride Wave, not Duke, Duke Deuce do this dance, right? Duke, Duke, yeah. Duke Deuce, yeah. They look the same. Ride Wave is They look the same, like, though. Ride so, Wave is too. like... Rod Wave yeah. resides in Marvin's room. He's a sad, singing, gotcha. rapping ass nigga. I didn't okay. hear it, so I listened to a couple tracks and I cut off. I didn't hear any real talent from Rod Wave. Maybe I'm tripping. That's cool. It didn't like he wasn't like an exceptional singer. I like Duke Deuce because his dance moves are cool. He's hilarious. He's actually a funny his, guy. His dance moves are funny. But he dropped yeah, the deluxe. Yeah. He already dropped this, this deluxe version of his album too. So you know it's whatever mm-hmm. it is. Uh, and then last, Yeah Ali also dropped the EP. I believe it's like a nine, nine, nine spot or six spot. Why? I always call him Ye. Oh, okay. It's Ye, though. Fair. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Ye Ali dropped an a EP as well. Um, Shout out to Ye, man. This is tight. This in, is tight for, for IU. It's in tight. the spirit of us being in Detroit for a whole weekend, we want to do a Detroit hip hop top five. I just want to put something out here. I'm going okay. first, first of all. Okay. Put something out here, okay? We're Detroit, doing the Detroit hip-hop playlist. Detroit hip hop top five. We're doing Detroit, and then that hip hop thing has been, that's new. <laughs> Um, I want I want y'all to know something. We want to do Motown, basically. Stevie Wonder is from Detroit, and I cannot put him on this playlist, and I'm not happy about it. Okay, I think if you do a Detroit playlist and one of the top five musicians of all times from the city, <laughs> he should be on there. I should at least be able to put Superstition on here. Was he born and raised in Detroit? In Detroit, but St- little Stevie Wonder was a famous by nine. Stevie lived in Detroit. Blind ass. That's how Barry found the nigga. Who yeah. that little nigga that can't see that can sing? Down the street, yeah. So Stevie Wonder should be so on here. With the, f- with the affliction. I respect Deuce Touche and I kept him off. <laughs> Thank you. But he should have been on here. Superstition is fire. <laughs> it ain't the way. It ain't, you know it ain't mean? harder than like ass. Sir Duke or living, I'm a, I'm living ass in the guy. city. Ass yeah. is imp- important. Yeah, ass is my favorite Stevie Wonder song. I wish it, I wish it sounded like you saying ass, but it's ass. Yeah, overjoyed. Ass. Should have been on it. Anyway. Ribbon in the sky. Um, Shout out to the wedding track. I'm very, I mean, I don't have a lot of Detroit. Rap knowledge, so I just went to the heavy hitters. Okay, uh, all right, Stan and shout out to Eminem because Stan 
is a global term and yep. it would it wasn't meant to be. I think there's like, kids nowadays that don't even know where it came from. Yeah, like uh, we stand you that is Eminem. That's his contribution to the world. If his whole catalog go away, Stan stays. Him and Dido. Yeah, so that's tight. Uh, Toy Soldiers, my shit. It's a great story. It is. Of of, of hip-hop beef. Rest in peace to proof. Uh, selfish, Slum Village. I'm calling. Maybe I'm selfish. Uh, now it's the Big Sean portion of this. Uh, Play No Games, featuring Chris Brown. Fire. Uh, great song. Uh, Marvin Gaye and Chardonnay, featuring Kanye. Great song. Fire. Uh, Moolah remix. I really wanted the Detroit version. I walk around IU campus. Moolah came out. I was like, "Hey, Big Sean is ain't gonna no, be alright. It's gonna be no cool." Moolah. And uh, lastly, patiently waiting. Uh, Fifty Cent and Eminem. Damn. Um, let me go next. So you didn't do Eminem? Well, we did a little Eminem at the front. Okay, yeah, got you. Yeah. Uh, five. Shout out to Eminem, man. Definitely an icon. We were kids for sure. The yep. way I am. Marshall. Fire. Uh, number four. Big Sean. So much more. He. I, if you were J Cole, Big Sean fan, which I am. Play so much more. Play Rise and Shine. You tell me which one's better. I like to play both of those at the same time. Uh, Dage Loaf, Try Me. Oh, Dage Loaf, I got another song. For sure. Number two. Uh, <laughs> Let a nigga try. Royce the 5'9 and T Pain, first of the month. Fire. Love and, that song. Uh, Royce, oh, my bad. And number one, nothing is stopping you, man. Shout out to Big Sean. It's very inspirational to play. You ever having a down day? You feel like you got to get Big get Sean, he shit. don't get the inspiration and credit he should get. That nigga put, put me through shit for real. Nothing is stopping you, but get you going. For Nothing sure. to stop you writing, writing the fire afterwards. That's a heat yeah. back to backer. Uh, all right, I guess I'll go next. Mine is extensive. Mine too. Um, I'll start with this. Kid Rock, Bob with the Bob. Fire. Oh, I didn't think about that guy. He didn't rap it on that bitch. Yeah. So oh, okay. oh, this, this is for all the quit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eminem cleaning out my closet. That's a nice sleeper you pulled out. Yeah, I did. Uh, D12 Purple Pills. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, T Grizzly, first day out. Mm-hmm. Uh, forty. Mine has no order by any means. Yeah, 40, mine either. Forty two. Doug turn bitch. Uh, Big Sean featuring Drake blessings. Uh, Eminem fifty cent. Doctor Drake crack a bottle. I also had patiently waiting. Eminem love game featuring love game featuring Kendrick Lamar. Um, I don't know that one. Solid. Uh, forty two. Doug. Uh, Ben turn. Uh. This one has a fire Royce at five nine, feet, uh, Royce at five nine, verse, uh, Joe Budden, Fab, and Royce at five nine. Remember the Titans, hmm. Heat, uh, Eminem. My name is Big Sean. Stay down, uh, Big Sean. Man, Sacrifices featuring Migos. Stay down is one of my favorite. Uh, Lil Baby featuring Forty Two Doug Grace. Lil Baby featuring Forty Two Doug. Uh, we paid. We paid. Crazy. Big Sean featuring Twenty One Savage. Pull up and wreck. Uh, Doctor Dre and Eminem forgot pull up about Dre. And Eminem White Trash Party. Uh, T Grizzly God's White Trash w- Party Yeah I like White Trash Party I do <laughs> uh, uh, T Grizzly God's Warrior uh, T Grizzly Pray uh, pray for the Drip uh, T Grizzly B-Sides Yeah for sure uh, Nahave Moho Manjo I think I don't know the nigga's name But he got T Grizzly on there We got it lit It's fire He's funny as hell uh, Rick Ross Kanye West And Big Sean Sanctified Good one. Uh, Pusha T, uh, who I am, it got Big Sean. It does have Big Sean on the thing. Yep. Uh, Detroit versus everybody. Absolutely. Um, Royce the Five Nine featuring Conway, uh, Fubu, uh, Ashley uh, Royce the Five Nine feature Ashley Sorrell and Benny the Butcher upside down. Upside, upside, upside down. And uh, Sada upside Baby, down. pimp name drip that. It's actually the longest list you've ever had. <laughs> it's interesting. All right, I'm, before I forget it, uh, DJ Damn. Khaled and Rick Ross. I gotta add all those. <laughs> DJ Khaled, Rick Ross, T Sky, and Big Shine on everything. Uh, and I'm gonna go on my list. I forgot that one though. But uh, Slum Village, selfish. Black Milk featuring Royce the Five Nine losing out. Obi Trice the setup. Obi Trice. Detroit versus everybody, uh, which is everybody. Days Loaf, try me and back up featuring Big Shine. Uh, Royce, Let that nigga shake this me. and try. Tabernacle. Uh, Big Shine. <laughs> Nothing stop. Who stop? I'm sorry, Big Shine. Who's stopping me? Stay down. The outro on that album too. The light. So much more and memories part two featuring John Legend, uh, Eminem, Rabbit Run, The Way I Am, Guilty Conscience, Rock Bottom, and Still Don't Give a Fuck. That's my. List. I'll be adding uh, your Superman. That's my shit. First off, you don't know Marshall, and also don't go back. Eminem that was that crazy. was an interesting time for Eminem. He I was uh, a Superman. He definitely got into like a melodic bag there. 
Yeah, which is yeah, that wasn't you. That wasn't normal yeah, for him. Man, yes, yeah, Superman. Mariah Carey had That's him twisted up. What would he? You must be gone yeah, off I'm that. Sure that I'm bottom. sure that thing was hitting though. You I want just, what you can't have? She had the walk. You girl, that's the, too damn bad. The comeback Mariah Carey did absolutely nothing for me. It was weird. Like, I feel like girl, comeback girl, Mariah Carey oh. is like comeback Mariah Carey oh. is uh, we belong to together. Imagine me was a damn near best album. No, no, no. I meant visually. Oh. <laughs> All right, like the way comeback Mariah yeah. Carey looked wasn't my thing. I like yeah, Honey Mariah. Me, me, she was. Uh, no, no, no. no was the music was slapping on the comeback. The music Shake it off, crazy. crazy. But like, Shake it off. one of my favorite albums, Emancipation Mimi, is crazy. Like, weird. She had like more space here than she used to have. It was weird. It was all she puffy. aged. I can't sleep. The last one got them big foreheads though. Y'all yeah, but she didn't. Mind. I don't know. I, I like Honey Mariah Carey. <laughs> I be walking back on the radio, <laughs> nigga, and I'm gonna sing that bit. <laughs> if you think you're lonely now, wait a minute. This is too deep. I can't take. I got it. <laughs> so what? Uh, no, we found trying out. to catch a break. And, and then, then I hear baby face. I only think of you. It's breaking my heart. I'm trying to keep it together. But I'm falling apart. I'm feeling not out of my element. She went crazy, bro. She was snapping. It was fire. I won't say she didn't write it. but No, I we found out that Jonte wrote a lot of that when he did that battle. As he should have. Oh, he's fire. Yeah, yeah Jonte was going crazy on the comeback Mimi. Yep. I think the dream was, too. Yeah, she went crazy, man. Shout out to hey, Mariah Carey. is fire. She went crazy. Well, she all, saw the lap, for sure. That's all I got, man. Nike ID. I don't know if any big things coming soon, but you know, something might pop up. We'll see. When you Where Kendrick at, man? Chilling. Next. Shout out to me and I appreciate the Kobe uh, memoir. <laughs> Next. Thanks for sending those to me. That's some help. Be a lot. Are we live? Yes. I still okay, fit the song playlist. First, 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 first of all, yeah. let's get one no. straight. Ruff's got 30 hey, himself. Which slot do I got eight. Hey. I have 15. Yeah. Plus the extras of my man on the back end. Like, like, you ain't got the answer, Peace. Shout out to Ray J. I was watching Moesha this weekend, and he was on episode like <laughs> two. Nigga. I imagine he's going to come up a couple more times oh, yeah. before he's his a, actual he's role. He's a little cousin. No, before his real role, uh, he's going to keep popping up his extras. He's he actually the first one. You get a check for this. Yep. Um, Nothing too sp- I mean, it's special to me. It may not be special to everybody. The Fred Hampton movie is on the way. Shout out to Deuce for wearing the shirt because the Chicago police you definitely are killed Fred Hampton. A revolutionary. Um, Fred Hampton, one of the realest niggas. Uh, of all time if he was allowed to live his life in my opinion he would have been bigger than Malcolm and Martin just my opinion he was so young he was 21 he was only 21 he never he just got started um, but he was the I would I guess you would call him the de facto leader of the Black Panthers at the time and he definitely he definitely ran Chicago's branch yeah that was him um, but he was the face yeah was is this about face. Fred or is about Huey P. Newton Fred Hampton it's about Fred Hampton okay um, well, because so if you if read to like Cointel Pro, like their biggest thing was to make sure like there was no black messiah, like don't allow a guy to rise up into the ranks. Right, right, right. That's why they got and rid that, of MLK and, and, and that's, X. But that's why that's what he was doing. That's what he's on his way to be. He was for as like right now. I can't tell you that we have a leader. At the time, he was the leader of the black people, the black man's plight, the black man. What he said, I'm a revolutionary. Um, the movie's coming out. Uh, Daniel Kalea, Fred Hampton, um, Lakeith Stanfield, William O'Neill, the snitch ass nigga. And he was so. It was the, the crazy he was thing pressured about, into it. He was pressured into that yeah, shit. Yeah, he didn't. I mean, he was. He, but he did that shit early too. in the snitch game for I'm sure. I'm excited. I don't know a lot about the Fred story. I just know who Fred Hampton was. So, one of the I real felt real like I had to do research for. I, I bought this. You show. definitely have. You definitely have to research it. Yeah. But he was a he was a real nigga. He had a lot of good shit to say. His angle and, was more like. Yeah, there's racism, but like he he was a socialist and they scared of that shit now. But like he like was like shit. keep in mind, like basically classism is our biggest issue. It's not so much race, it's classism. Like yeah. they're, they're they they want to keep poor people down. I don't care what they look like, yeah. black, white, yellow, whatever. He was poor. unifying everybody. Yeah, and that's why they was really scared of him. Because like, Fox is famous for saying it. Maybe it ain't racism. Maybe it's placism. They had yeah, white place, nigga. He had white people on his side in the meetings. Like yeah, Fred. He got that gym off in a random movie. Any given Sunday, he got that off. Yes, Fred. <laughs> Yeah, and there's also I also wanted to talk about there's some other we know Daniel Kaleo we know Lakeith, uh, shout out to them legends already. Uh, there's some other up and coming young black actors that I wanted to highlight. D- Dominique Fishback from uh, Show Me a Hero or The Deuce. I'm not really familiar with The Deuce. Didn't watch either of those. Well, I didn't watch yeah. The Deuce because it was gonna have Maggie Gyllenhaal naked in it, and that was nothing. Yeah, one of the weakest women of all I time. I can't believe we Batman was so something. <laughs> I'm still hey, upset. The real Val Kilmer would never milk. touch that. Bruce. Bruce. 
Bro, L.A. Lakers. Oh, I, mean, yeah. I want you to know I picked you. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, pick uh, your face up off the ground, bitch. You did. Yeah. Ashton, uh, DJ Ashton Sour Sanders milk. Uh, from Moonlight. He's also in that movie. Dress man, dress man. Uh, little Dale, little rails in there. <laughs> uh, Algie Smith. From oh, Euphoria, Algie. real nigga. Yo, nigga. No, I no. Hey, from Euphoria. He, hey, listen, y'all Algie watch Smith the back is, in, man. He was in no edition. He was Ralph. New edition Yo, in nigga. Detroit. Was Ralph? In Detroit. He's in Detroit too. And that movie was terrible. I never watched. It was not it. good. Thank you. I heard it was bad. I heard it was bad. I it's never watched good, it. Y'all didn't edition. like Detroit. It. It's not good. Bro. Everybody said it was bad, bro. I didn't. I didn't watch it. And why do you have an opinion? You didn't watch it. I heard it was trash. Don't watch it. You were like the loudest nigga in the room. You hadn't seen it yet. I heard it was trash. Fowler, huh? You do. You I'm want to watch? I was, was going to say something I thought was going to be disrespectful after I said Go ahead, say it. You do a lot of shit that somebody told you was trash that you don't do. It. No. I won't, no. I won't. No, I won't do it. I won't say it's trash, though. Um, Detroit wasn't good, bro. He was just loud. I thought he said he, he said it was trash. I said, I heard. Detroit was. You, yeah, you know what I'm saying? The loudest nigga in the room. He ain't seen it yet. I heard. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? I heard as loud as you said John trash. Did not, he I, didn't, I heard it was trash. <laughs> it's not. I heard it was trash. You, you, know, have, a, you have a similar tone when we're talking about uh, Quentin Slim. Quinn Slim. I've seen Quinn Slim. Oh, you did? I thought yes, you did. Yes, I went see to it. the movies. Oh. Nah, he, he saw he like. You were just the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah, man, John Boy. Yeah, I was in it like this. He didn't. He didn't impress me. And Algie Smith, man, he was just. I mean, it's what I good. We're not allowed to talk about it on the internet. No, that's yeah, whatever. <laughs> We can't talk about black movies. We can't talk about no, movies. Not, we can't belittle black movies on the internet. Nigga. I think I think the story of Detroit didn't have a lot to offer because it was like a one room. It's one of the best, man. I don't sure. think it was bad. By I was I was I went into you know me. I was geek. Did you read the uh, what do you say? I wasn't necessarily moved by it. Not allowed to say that. Did you read the plot? I think I read a little bit about it. I just wasn't necessarily moved. I man. read the plot and I decided not to see. It. I thought it was cool. I, I wasn't mad. I at thought it the at plot. All. I thought it was cool, but I was never look here. I was never impressed. Hey. Hey, Ruff, can you admit one thing? I didn't think, realize John Boyega was in there. Do you that. think that seriously, just for real, cousin to cousin, do you really think that, like, that really talking or condemning black businesses can lead to more problems or lead to the demise of I that business? I think that if I give Why a bad are review. Doing this? And if, I, just really wanna, no, I, just, I think that people saying you can't give bad reviews about black business on the internet stops people from going. If, if me saying that something was weak stops you from going, you was never going. That's not true. All right, so. I f- that's my. So Reed might have watched Detroit. He heard it was trash. He's never gonna watch Detroit. Okay. So, but my thing is, if we can't that, talk about, if we can't talk about bad about you black just businesses, it I, that was a direct. Okay, you're example. right. Example. But okay, what I got my whole thing is, if we can't talk about bad, bad about black business on the internet, don't talk bad about nothing black people do ever. I'm cool with that too. <laughs> but you niggas are not gonna do that. That's fine. Niggas are not gonna do that. Because niggas talk bad about black shit all the time. Is money tied to it? And all of a sudden, if niggas don't go see niggas' movies, they're not going to get paid. What do you For mean? For sure. And that, so that, that's to my bigger point. So, like, to me. So, don't either do it or don't at all. Nah, because I'm going to still do both. But, like. It's yeah. a black movie, by the way. It had black actors it had in black it. black leads. It was, it, the and director it was, a, was not black. It was a black story. It was. But, so, my point. Yeah. So, and naturally. So, when I hear about um, Daniel Kaluuya being Fred Hampton, I don't know why. But, naturally, I'm like, ah. Uh, they got a British nigga to play one of those. It's, it naturally feels weird. I'm not going to not go see the hey, movie. And British niggas, they run our black. I, mean, I don't the, know why, the, but they, the, I guess the, they go. Cool. The reality, we don't have a lot of elite young black actors. We got older yeah, born elite and black actors. We don't have a lot of young. Like, those guys have come in and said, we yeah. are good at Do you want everybody hates Chris to be uh Relax. I'm just saying that's no, my, I get what that's you're my saying, initial reaction. It's hard. To, and I'm, it's, I'm not going to not go see the but movie. But you also know he's going to do a good job. I don't know. I think I think it's, I think he's struggled with his oh, accent. Where's from Chadwick what I heard from? On, from what I heard what? on the huh? Where's Chadwick from? Huh? Chadwick. Bozeman? Yeah. He's from the South. He's from North Carolina. South okay, Carolina. so that's all he want. I, just, I, yeah. just, I, I got him fucked up. He played up. too many niggas. He don't need to be Fred Hampton. But, <laughs> but he played. He's been Jackie Robinson. He got enough James. souls inside of him already. Yeah, so. We can pro- but we can probably. We're literally got to absorb a nigga's soul to play yeah. him. But no, so admit. Fred Hampton has a very, very, like, unique dialogue. He just he talks very interestingly. And I think from the previews, it sounds like he's close to it, but you never know. It might, yeah. but and it would never have been perfect anyway. But you never know. Um, I would say I this think though. I think to have to one a but speak also, as an American and then say, two try to speak as a special American is a lot. I also want to say, who could have done it better? I don't know. Don't what was you about to say? I was going to say though that like for some reason, man, whatever acting school they have over there is trumping what we got going on in the states, man. Like it's, I just feel like the British, the black British man is taking over Hollywood. We found out Daryl Orlando was the the catalyst. Hey, it's not just Daryl Orlando is British, 
blew oh, your he mind. Said back. Yep, he yep. said back. He didn't know. <laughs> no. Delroy is, Lindo yeah. is British. The daddy from Crooklyn? British. Hey. It's fuck. It's not just blacks. It's it's white people too. They come over here and sweep up. Yeah. Wherever they're acting, everybody's allowed yeah. to go. And they like come over here and say, get that money. Yeah. And like I said, it's not gonna keep me from watching the movie. It's just that's my na- I can't <laughs> hey, Starstruck. Do you, Lindo? It's British. Do you know there's only one American actor on Game of Thrones? <laughs> well, that's they they don't shoot that here. Yeah. That's a European show. Still. Anyway. Do you but back to what you brought up, do you think I'm ridiculous for saying what I was saying? Like, can we talk I think, about? I don't think black, that you're <laughs> Messiah and Judas. God I don't damn. think that you're ridiculous. I do think that we cannot undermine the impact that our words have as black people about things going on in the black community. I, and, I, and, and so, I just want you to admit that, like, man, sometimes going off on black businesses or saying or saying the, the wrong thing that can lead to that business taking a stumble. Okay. Or, or experience so a setback. keep that same energy when you when you say Nick, these rappers are trash. Don't go see their shows. I don't see niggas saying shit like that. I would say if you feel that like, fucks up their money too. Correct. If, if you feel inclined to speak natively about a black business online, I would just ask that you when you do have a good experience, do the same. I would. I would. But I feel like you can't tell me. I can't. I feel like those come hand in hand, hand in hand. I need to be able to do both. I just feel like it's at, a different if, if you, I think if, it's different platform. If you're looking at it from the outside looking in, you know for a fact you speaking negatively about a black business does no good to anybody. Right? I There's feel like, no good I that feel can like come if, I feel like if I said I had a bad experience somewhere, I feel like that doesn't really stop niggas from going. Why not? I I guess me personally, I'm just not I, look, you don't I, think niggas? I know, is, I know all the negative shit that niggas have been saying about the missing brick, for example. Right, I still want to go. You, you don't think other niggas aren't ever going to go? I'm sorry, niggas are weak minded. Not my fault. What I'm saying is, but if you're we're, impacting. If we're the, gonna, if we're gonna <laughs> say, I feel like it's for me. It's gonna be, and that's not for everybody. It's gonna be all or nothing. Either we're gonna not belittle black people on the internet, or we are. Sorry, I feel like then we, you would rather just belittle niggas. I'd rather be open to do both. <laughs> you rather I'd rather be able to say like shit is trash. I've, I don't have an issue with saying shit is trash. Yeah, but you know saying shit is trash is going to negatively affect them. That's gonna and you neg- can sleep at that's night That's going to negatively affect anybody, whether they sell food or clothes or anything. I think I think it comes down to platform, man. I think we, we, we're we talking about... I don't like, know why you did this, but... Cool. Well, I, I just feel like he, he went off on it again about like, oh, we can't say bad things about whatever. And he was making it... That's what niggas have been telling me, bro. To, and I'm not... I'm not here or it is specifically... Restaurants. Is that what it is? Businesses. So clothes, shoes, I can't say nothing. Seamstresses. Nigga. Seamstresses. <laughs> Event planners. What's the hot one these days? Uh motherfucking oil makers. Nurses. I'm playing. Yeah. If All I right. go to if I go to the black owned dentist and I get gangrene in my mouth, I can't say shit about it on the internet. I would have hoped you would sue them. Quietly. Oh, so I should sue them and really put them out of business. Yeah, get their ass. Instead move. of making a review on the internet, we that's should, stupid. We should move. I don't next. know why we're doing this. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, next. They were yeah. uh definitely bro. That's crazy, yeah. man. And I'm going to say, no. Nah. All niggas in I'm going to say, that's whatever. Crazy. If somebody treats me bad, I'm going to say, whatever. I don't care if you're black, white, green, or blue. You are entitled to that, bro. I'm happy for you. Quentin, come get this bag. Quentin. That's Daryl Lindo and Crooklyn. Crooklyn uh, is so mid. Quentin, what? It's a moment mid, movie. Bro. I don't like much of Spike Lee's early stuff. Uh, you don't like nothing. Crooklyn, Crooklyn is I the like midest Crooklyn, of man. the mid. No, I like Crooklyn. Man. I watched. She got. Uh, she got to have it before I watch Crooklyn. The original? Yes. No way. Yes. I'll, that original she I have is tough. Crooklyn a good family movie, man. No, it's, no, it's not. not. It is. It's a moment. It's, it's a. Movie. It's a moment movie. There it's, was a little girl named Troy. It was stupid. Nigga from struggle. the show. Troy. <laughs> Queenie! <laughs> Next. And then there's a, there's a part in Crooklyn, sorry. There's a part in Crooklyn where they send them away and then it's like a day and then they're back. It's weird. What are you talking about? Don't they go out of town, right? They go stay at their cousin's crib. No, and she then, goes and stays at Ansar. I know, but she's back on. like in the next 10 minutes. Nah, she's gone for a grip. She was gone forever. They mm, killed really the dog right. in the couch. Yeah, by the time, she, got she, a by time she got back, shit changed. Took them things out her head. Middleton. But all movie. that happens in seven or eight minutes, nigga. No. It's, it's not that good of a movie. I don't like Crooklyn. It's I don't like. Crooklyn. I don't like uh, the one everybody loves. Do the right do fucking the right thing. thing. It's just cool. At American, yeah, I mean, you see know what I'm saying? Next, <laughs> we gotta go next. It's just cool. Next. Like, <laughs> Miracle I mean, I mean, is good. Though. The right yeah. thing is, I saw Miracle Saint Anne's recently. It was cool. It's good. The right thing Heat. is elite. Miracle Saint, you like? I love Miracle Saint Anne. I don't know, bro. One of my favorite movies. It's chocolatey, chocolatey, he got into chocolatey. Oh, I don't know. Let's move on, man. I like war movies though, so I feel it. Save your pride, Ryan. Elite fire. 
I'll probably never watch that again. Oh, man, it's good. Let's move on. <laughs> Next. 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 Tom but, Hanks and they're going but crazy. But Crooklyn. I said people say Crooklyn's their favorite movie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that spirit on me. I feel good. My good family. Was that, that, Yeah, it's four they gone. make a lot of them. They make a lot of movies. That's your favorite movie? Nah, his. Nah, it's my favorite movie. It's up there. Yeah, Titanic's up there too. It's weird. I don't Titanic know why. is fire. It's fire. I'll probably never watch Titanic front to back. You've never seen it? Not front to back. That's a quality. It's movie. a good movie. Hey, for a, for a love story to go right into an action flick, it's crazy. That's, that's gross. <laughs> I've probably I've never seen like, I've never seen like the first fifteen minutes. Of and Titanic. they show you don't need to. And they show titties in Titanic. It's elite. Oh, sports! It's my turn. It is bubble talk. Bubble. Hey man, bubble heating up, man. Playoffs coming next Saturday. Playoff P on the way. Playoff P on the way. And speaking <laughs> of <laughs> playoff P, shout out to Dame Lillard, man. We had a wow. little bit of, of of Twitter beef. Everybody know what happened last year. Instagram beef. Dame. Instagram beef. Dame sent him home. Sent him home. Sent PG to the crib. Bye bye. Wave bye bye. With the hard whap too. Yeah, he was. You could hear it. Bye. What? What's up? My th- my argument is that is both of them niggas have been sent home by a lot of niggas. Not not in that way. Oh, not uh, not Dan in that. Literally, not in that ga- that buzzer beater. Right, nothing, he but. sent that nigga home from thirty five. Like, bye, get the fuck Gang, out of here, get off my court, nigga. So yesterday, uh, Dame, you know, Dame had a, a a misstep down one. He missed two free throws. Like, doesn't really happen often. He's like a ninety percent free throw shooter. Yep. Uh, it propelled him to win the game. It was weird. PG wasn't playing late in the close game, so I don't know. I, mean, I didn't play at all. Right. 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 Yeah. PG played right, right. And then he just hit out the fourth quarter But anyway Game was good Pat Bev didn't play Pat Bev's the most annoying nigga In the NBA I'm careful <laughs> Listen You can love the Clippers You cannot like Patrick Beverly He's I say, annoying I say No you love say, a nigga like that On your team yes, We got one too I say nigga say He gonna defend the fuck out of you He gonna make you work hard For that 30 you gonna drop on him <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. but Pat, So Pat Bev's talking shit So they get on Instagram And um Pat Bev said Cancun on three. Nah, the post. Read the post. I didn't see the post. All I got is the, the post is, is what starts it. What's the post? That Pat, uh, that Dan Lewis says I'm not worried about them. I sent them both home on different occasions. Okay. Uh, he, Pat Bev responds to that Cancun on three. He, right. Last month, here comes PG. Yeah, we about to send y'all home. <laughs> and you getting sent home this year? Respect. Well, they Dave's are. not. Dave, and this is the thing. Dave's not taking that from PG. He's just not. <laughs> That's the one. No, shut up. Don't talk to me. Sent you home. Dame came back because if you think about it, he didn't say nothing to Pat Bev. We talked about him later in the press conference. But well, the he, he mentioned post, both of them in the press conference. In, but in, in the post, the Instagram post was directly back to uh, uh, PG. PG. Keep switching teams, running from the ground. You boys is bogus. Oh, you boys right. is chumps. Chumps. <laughs> <laughs> A heater. Running from the grind he hurt. Up his career. Heater. Running from the grind hurt. At the same time, I'm not taking that. At from the you. same time. <laughs> Can I'm I, not he's taking been that from twice. Uh, Can I be 100? Okay, you gonna be honest? Cool, be honest. PG's been traded twice. Twice. Okay. Yes, and Dame never gonna get one in Portland. Sorry, PG's been traded twice. So grind it out, um, my nigga. <laughs> Not I, even that. I will say what needs to be said. I got it. PG's I Indianapolis career is probably better than what Dame's done in Portland. He's been a. He's a guy. Well, they both. They both have been doing conference finals. Niggas yeah, took but LeBron my nigga James took LeBron to six seven and seven games. Dame not taking. I don't LeBron think to Dame's seven, done that. No, he hasn't. Um. They have a personal beef because yeah, LeBron, sure. those paces was hard. Here's the, now, now here's the, is, is there, there's a caveat here. LeBron obviously left in the room has switched teams. <sighs> okay, I got. I told you I got you. Okay, cool. I got you because niggas is tweeting but, lines but, talking about switching but, teams, running from the ground, here's the, here's rooting the, for LeBron. LeBron. Weird. Here's the thing. Championships. It's weird. No, here's the thing though. It's weird. It's not a. It's weird. Nobody questions LeBron's grind on that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the difference. It's weird. I agree. I just because LeBron, he's a LeBron, LeBron guy. James Switching teams, running from the grind could he be a LeBron James colorway Bro. for a shoe. But the running from the grind part, not, not, not so much. <laughs> runner, he he gonna work. He gonna fix what's he, he, So we are we trying to say Paul George doesn't work out? That's what it sounds like. <laughs> no, the, the grind, grind is nigga. Stand with the team and going. Make the shit happen. That's fair. Hey, LeBron is. Yeah. So it's weird because he doesn't have a problem with LeBron. But and it's not LeBron's fault. That's where you see it's personal. I don't fuck with PG. So fuck you. Because LeBron didn't tweet it. And LeBron. And the niggas traded. who support LeBron tweeted yeah. it. Uh, LeBron hey, hasn't say, been traded. Ahead, PG's Rudy. been traded. Now, he, did, he did request one trade. Hey, man. Keep switching teams Very from public. LeBron. Heat. I'm with it. Heat. Uh, he did not Heat. ask Odd. to be in. in, in he Heat. certainly didn't ask to be. Okay, see, not for sure. He chose to stay in. No, he didn't ask to be in, in the Clippers. He chose to be in OKC. He signed. He asked to be in the Clippers, too. It's, I mean, Him and Kawhi were having secret meetings in the summer. He was going. To, he, well, he was. Go- they were going to get traded regardless. They were breaking that up regardless. And he was like, well, shit. Can you send me over there? 
<laughs> yeah, I guess. But like I said, but again, there's a personal beef, and it's, it's not. I mean, that fuck I ain't nothing about LeBron. It's no shade to Dame. Dame has a great career too, but like, yeah. you, I mean, if we're gonna be honest, like his career has not really matched up accolade wise what PG was doing. But you know what? Okay, I'll be fair to Dame. His career the last five years is better than PG's last five years. Absolutely, last five. So Dame's up. if you're me lately, Dame's Dame up. Is, Dame's up the yeah. last five. Yeah, Dame's up the last five years. And I and is Dame the hardest trailblazer ever. One uh, of them. <laughs> 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 My up, his least favorite player of all time. I, no, he's not. Uh, Clyde Drexler is. <laughs> hey, you and know Bill Walton three? is probably two. And hey, you know who's number three? three. Scotty Pippen. No, no. Scotty only got two years on the Scotty was only there a couple years, and he was the nigga that got crossed by Kobe's. But he no, Dame is cold. And it, 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 Dame is Dame is Dame Cole. is also There's nothing West. to take. Last five Dame. years, Dame's a better player than PG if yeah. on on the list. Yeah. Success wise, you know what I mean. So yeah. both them niggas not getting them a chip. I, my beef is on uh, the PG Lloyd. is very in line for championship this year. The why beef is just with what this? I do because you out here geeked up. Yeah, running from the, you know why? Because you hate Paul George. Keep switching teams, running from the grind. Nah, I keep switching teams, running from the grind. Your I, favorite I like player right now Ryan switches switch teams team. and he's runs a, from the grind. He's a Laker. He's killing. His favorite he's a player Laker. got traded to the New Orleans Pelicans. Please no, respect him. No, 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 no. His no. favorite player is LeBron. No, Raymond James. He cheers. He cheers for LeBron now. Now we're not going. Don't disrespect him. He cheers. He no, his favorite player is LeBron James. He doesn't hate LeBron right now. His favorite player is Lonzo Ball. He <laughs> sat on my couch before y'all got here and said, "I think about trading this Lonzo Ball fan shit, bro. It's getting kind of man. It's getting tough here. for me." Yeah. But I try to cave for this. I will say, <laughs> no, I will say, I understand Damn. the energy. <laughs> stupid. The energy that no, nah, you're right. I do like Lonzo Ball a lot. The energy that Lonzo Ball gave after playing like shit, yeah. I'm with it, man. Lonzo I, struggling. No, bro. Got another season Explain me, this bro. LeBron thing to me. Okay, let me explain. Number one. LeBron James is always the man on all his teams. Just say you hate is Paul George. I don't hate Paul George. I don't like him, though. I don't like the way he did my city. No, I don't. <laughs> and I don't like the fact that we had a and – y'all, and y'all don't watch the Pacers. So I'm, you know, I'm not going to talk. Y'all don't watch the Pacers. Okay. Because what I'm going to say is Monte <laughs> Ellis – Monte Ellis during that season until Lance Stevenson came back. Monte Ellis was carrying the Pacers for what? Because PG quit on us. Did Monte Ellis carry out a game seven even with the though, Heat? Even though he was telling us the whole time he wanted to stay with the whoop, and because he played us – Luckily, we got lucky. We got Vic and we got Sabonis, and now we got TJ Warren out of the deal somehow, some way. But it wasn't supposed to be like that. He's about to set us back 10 years, bro. Did Monte Ellis take out He's about to set us back 10 years. He got to. You've got to put more blame on, on the front office. You've got to. He won't. It's all Paul George. You've got to. PG, baby. Um, you've got to. Shout out to but Tony. I, I ain't know, but listen, y'all PG, you a PG fan? I, I like, be, P, I like I PG, PG a lot. He is. Like he PG. loves PG. I like PG a lot. He's switching teams. PG got game. That's what I mean. He do got game. He's cold. He got game. He's phenomenal. He's a guy I don't. I enjoy watching play basketball. But he's been on. <laughs> this is he's not going to the Hall of Fame. I just as long as LeBron, as long as LeBron didn't retreat, we all good. He should just saw that. So oh. he would have never done that. Hmm. LeBron, hey, oh yeah, LeBron, no niggas are gonna be on his ass. <laughs> he, he better not. He ain't doing that. But shit. But he's the poster child for switching teams, running from the ground. Nigga had a press conference. <laughs> So stupid. Not run, yeah. not two, uh, not three, not four, not five. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Um, the, the, ground, the ground was the Boston Celtics. Uh, yeah. He was like, shit. Can I be honest about LeBron? He might have another team switch in him. He got oh, for him. sure. He's playing with his son. Absolutely. Playing with his son. Yeah. Yeah. This, my, this LA shit might not work out. It's working. They just got they just got smacked by TJ Warren last night. <laughs> hey, Tony Warren Jr., talk about your boy real quick. Uh, hey, man. Uh, Lloyd. Another week in the bubble, another week to TJ Warren's best friend in NBA. Yep. <laughs> like right now, just for NBA. Going crazy. Shout out to TJ, man. The best player Killing. in the NBA. <laughs> and I think. It's TJ Warren. Today. Like, fuck, I don't care if nothing. Rings don't matter. Numbers don't yeah. matter. Today, as if we're living and breathing in the year of our Lord 2020, <laughs> TJ Warren's the best player in the NBA. Nobody going crazy, man. That we, kept, we kept hearing before the bubble, like, hey, y'all, the, the sight lines are different. Like, no fans. I've really talked about it. It might affect some niggas. We found out. It's affecting him. It was TJ. In the most yeah. positive and so, way. And so, there the needs, depth is easy there for needs him. to be a season MVP, but. Bro, we're not getting MVP for eight games. Stop. It's not, we, it's not enough no, games. No. I need a king of the bubble, nigga. No, the fuck? Yeah. The niggas is he going to be Devin Booker or TJ Warren? The niggas that win the championship. Not for eight games, bro. Yeah. Yeah. No. Lynn Sanity, nigga. How many games was that? Like seven. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, uh, MVP finals, they announced it's Giannis, James, and LeBron. I mean, Rookie of the year is uh, Kendrick ja. Nunn, Ja, ja. and ja. Zion. Uh, you know, none of the Zion. niggas. I don't think any of the for niggas. Another six or seven games he played? Yeah, this is, they want to do that. The weird thing, I don't think anybody in the bubble in the MVP race is playing well yet. I got Ja and Giannis because I think that's just what they would. That's yeah. what they probably uh, would pick is Ja and Giannis. I think I personally think that pre-COVID, when LeBron did the uh, BC the, before COVID, yeah, uh, when he did the Bucks Clippers win, 
he had won the MVP at that moment. Right. I think he did too. But things man. have changed. Mm-hmm. For sure. So I don't know what they're going to do. And if they judge it off that, he'll win the MVP. They MVP. probably forgot all about that. He was going crazy. They don't go off man. of stats and final team record. I think that's probably Boys are playing better. And, and now, again, remember, LeBron locking up the one seed is a big boost because that's a big deal in winning the MVP. Mm-hmm. So, him, so that's where but his. The Bucks are number one, too. Yeah, they are. But that's where the OG tax is thrown on. It's possible. He's a one seed, too. Mm hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? If you're two seed, wouldn't it be an option? Hmm. I think I think they they show their stats like Giannis was one. Giannis was first in no. James was first in points. I think LeBron was third in points. LeBron's first in assists. Yeah. Then Giannis was first in rebounds. Yeah. It, the stats all were jumbled because up. Because that's what's and gonna happen with again. Yeah. That's, that's just where, them niggas' lanes. That's right. where the OG James tax is gonna. Goes, because I give you an assist. example. They wanted to give LeBron MVP really bad in 2018. Okay. Really, 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 really bad. So I wanted to have it, but what was the problem? He played the Pacers in the first round as a four as a, as a four seed. Uh-huh. You know you don't get that MVP when James is a one seed in the West, right? And you are a four seed in the East. You can't have it. So him being the one seed will likely propel him to the MVP. I also don't want to hear like as people be like, well, you know, LeBron the one in the West and Giannis just the one in the East. I don't think everybody ever said that when LeBron was winning MVPs in the East. It was never like, well, LeBron only number one in the East. It was like LeBron's number one. So. I think Giannis, I think Giannis that, probably niggas always said the East was easy. Yeah, but it wasn't when it came to MVPs. LeBron had the number one seed in the but East. But you know what? It's also a record. Yeah. So but Giannis would have the think, edge. I don't think he ever had like yeah. Oh, yeah. he went 16, 16, won the MVP. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but Giannis has the best record in the NBA yep. right now. Yep, 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 yep. He Let's, does. You probably get it yep. off of that. I would we'll think. see. I, I don't know. I don't know at this point. This is probably LeBron's last chance in the MVP though, so they might give it to him off that. Again, the, the OG tax. Yeah. Man, before... He's bef- met the requirements for them to cheat it. For and him, again, honestly. before COVID, LeBron was really on another well, level. He better get back now, to it. I prefer y'all don't do that because I don't want Giannis pissed off. Just give this nigga the MVP so he can chill out. Hey. For the boss to sell this hey. in the you other world. You want to scrape your I niggas don't, real I don't quick. need my nigga upset. Hey, right now... Because he's going to sweep your niggas. Be nervous to see them purses in that bubble. Them motherfuckers playing good basketball. Hey. I, got, I, got, I got this young boy that might have to do something to Tony. You know what I'm saying? And low key... We'll see. And look here. And then... I've seen a glimpse of what they can do last night. Um, Mr. If, Sabonis will kill him eventually. If, yeah, and unless what Sabonis got plantar fasciitis, right? He's not playing in the bubble, bro. Maybe we never nope, know. Somebody got rebound. He's got plantar fasciitis. I'm at home, nigga. I'll catch y'all later. Yeah, but yeah, uh, but bad. Malcolm Malcolm Brogdon turned it up last night, and so did Vic just a little bit. I think I think Vic that, good, I, man. I think Vic is the key. I mean, obviously Malcolm Brogdon too. We know he's made of glass, so he he's got to stay healthy. But what, honestly, what was the thing that he had la- two weeks ago? Uh, uh, something like a groin. He or set out. For the some East bullshit. is a gauntlet this year. Now, whoever gets to batch up with the Sixers is in a great spot. Yep. Want them? Give me them. Yeah, like everybody that. playing Sixers now. About that. The Sixers yeah, is a buy now. Niggas are gonna dog walk, dog walk them damn near. You never know. Sometimes, Man, sometimes teams play better. They play better when shit like that happens. You never know. I don't want to get snuck by them but, niggas either. I also, I don't want to play Miami either. Miami's scary. Scary. Yeah, them yeah, shooters, are shooters, playing, shooters, 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 shooters. They're shooters. I do. I want the Pacers to get to Miami because I want the the, the Jimmy Buckets hey, TJ we Warren. We get it tomorrow, man. It's gonna be prime time television if you can watch it. Teach. So. That's all I got for sports, man. Uh hey, have y'all heard Target and Walmart are closed on Thanksgiving now? Yep. It's a good thing. I, agree. Are, for, I ain't seeing people have to go to work at yeah. three o'clock on uh I, can I can I tell you can I be honest? Thing, there was no law nor rule that made niggas go to these stores. Niggas wanted to go shopping on Thanksgiving if I Yeah, for sure. But that's right, but that forces the worker in. Yeah. You could definitely be closed. They'll just come tomorrow. Yeah, and, they'll come tomorrow. And that's yeah. because, you know, we we associate Black Friday with the deal. So if the deal is at five o'clock And the deal started to start on Thursday. Yeah, like that's what made it crazy. That's yeah. what I'm gonna do. Now the deal my, started. My retail and, my retail life, that's all I knew was working on the Thursday. Right. And then you, you, you shouldn't both, brother. Uh, at two my PM day, I said, "Oh, I got, I got to be there at five yeah. on Thanksgiving. I guess I got to take a nap before. Right. I'm gonna be there till tomorrow. Yeah. Right, <laughs> overnight shift down there. Yeah, I think that's crazy. I wasn't too mad at it, but shit. all the deals can still happen in the store. Open up at ten o'clock on Friday. Well, yeah. they, they're really just bracing for the fact they know this Black Friday is not gonna be the same. So not gonna be the same, and it's a part of it. But for me, it's also about the culture. Of Thanksgiving, man, like that should really be family time in America. I know the history ain't the greatest. I'm about to say what you mean, brother. The history is not good at all. But yeah. it, I, the it's time to be but, but a lot of niggas. A lot of niggas is done with their families by five. 
Like I'm sick, I'm sick of y'all niggas. I'm trying to go. Some niggas don't eat till six. Yeah, so. that's true right. too. Yeah. I'm nothing. Please. My eat. family late like that. Man, uh, we eat six? Like, I'll be shitting. We, we, we ain't at eight thirty one year bullshitting. <laughs> y'all gonna be, I'm going to eat somebody else's house. Y'all got me fucked that's up. That's cool. But when we ate, it was fine. In the in the nineties though, it used to be like you was over at grandma house, grandpa house for hours. You know what I mean? Like it mm-hmm. was a big deal. Oh, you had to get there at twelve. You still might eat till six. Right. Yeah. The food to be done when I said it's done. And we're gonna watch I'm a fire. In here. We used to watch Fire Medea play. That's when the cousins go off and do their own thing. Well, for me, anywhere have your hurts? Uh, yeah, and this is very serious. Oh, you sick? Hey, some sick racist person defaced mm-hmm. that yeah, Black Lives Matter shit. mural on Indiana Avenue. Fuck you. Fuck your family. I thought it was. I thought. And they use white paint too. Yeah, white and gray. White and gray paint. Like I don't know why you have the time for that. Um, sure you do. I'm sorry that 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 Black Lives that people being black makes you so mad. It's just weird. Like fuck, fuck you. I Strange, don't bro. That shit, I, that's so to me. That's a that's a major street. There's gotta be a camera. There's a camera somewhere. Hope so. The Madam C J Walker Building has a camera somewhere right. over there. Somebody gotta have a camera. But it's it's strange, man. Yeah. But you know that's that's the sad reality that we live in. That it is. This, this is bullshit. America. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, that shit. Speaking of which, the SAT was created by a white man who was trying to prove that white people were smarter than everybody else. Damn. So I got a good score on the SAT. Though. There you go. I, I, I wonder, I wonder what nationality has the highest score in SAT. I white wonder who that would be. White people, man. Standard white. Us. No, I mean like the highest score of all time. I'm going to go Asian. Probably. Be a perfect score though, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm sure people have got a perfect score. Yeah. I just, so, I don't know. I think it's, we. you could assume that's what the history was, but now it's man, been like documented. standardized testing is very problematic. Don't go on this tangent, for, please. Don't don't everything you said is true. Please. Don't go on this tangent, <laughs> Everything please. you said is true. It's a fact what you're saying. <laughs> I mean that. It's yeah. bullshit. It's bullshit. What can you memorize? It's bullshit. But don't go on this tangent, please. Okay. It's not. You, should, you don't have to take that. You. you don't have to take the ACT. Don't let them no. make you believe you have. The, if you're gonna, if you're gonna take them standardized hey, tests, hey, them tests don't mean you can have a the, great career. Take the, I have a good job. Oh, so I, the sixteen hundred's been hit several saying, times. Though, yes. People get it all the time. What I mean by that is that it benefits one particular type of test. Yeah, test. it's they're and that's the problem. They're culturally biased. Yeah, it shouldn't. It's a it fact. Shouldn't, yeah, that, and it shouldn't I just be mean, like I'm that. just saying I'm going to tangent. I I 100 percent agree with you. It's culturally yeah. biased for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, that because that's his bag. But uh, you don't have to take the ACT. If you're gonna take them tests, take the advanced placement test and get the college credit instead. The don't, AP exams. Yeah. yeah, take the AP exams. Why? The, the, why can't I say the, that? Get the college credits. Well, we could, you were we, gonna go way deeper than I would. I'm just saying. We knew what you were gonna say. There are certain tests you could take that that can you can get the like I said with the advanced placement exam. He's going long now too. Yeah, you can get the the college credit. The niggas have forced me. <laughs> you get the college credit. You don't have to take the ACT. This it's, it's stacked against niggas. Oh, okay. Then what was that? Yeah. It's time to go. It's time to go. Next. I was like, damn, oh, you got man, that text? Yeah. I'm sorry. Share my sentiments? But all right. No, I was not. I was, yeah. That's why I want you to not really meant you. What you were saying is facts. Yeah, niggas don't it's know. People don't know that. It's it's a problem. Hey, you'll be home by 845. Yeah, I know. It's a problem, man. Let's move on. The sun will still be out. Next. Next. I Next. mean, uh, shout out to you. You made to end it. Season four, episode 44 of the pregame podcast. Once again, we talk news, music, sports, here in San Francisco. We like to be content latest for our listeners, especially day ones. Make sure you use the hashtag Bust the Bottle. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at underscore the pregame. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at the pregame podcast. Make sure you laugh and learn have a good time. Please rate us, write us, review on iTunes. That's important. That nigga go crazy. Website. That nigga made up Website. Uh, freestyle uh, shit. Website coming soon, <laughs> very soon. Hey, man, that we got a great. Hit the menu. Pay attention to your Instagram stories for sure because in a couple weeks we're going to be dropping some big news. We're excited about it. Merch, merch. Should we do auditions Indeed. for the website? Like, can niggas can show us what they're working with? Nah, show me what you're working oh, with. Niggas don't Let's move that. on. Oh, okay. Next. Next. I done ran a check on a nigga. I done flexed on a bitch. You can't get like this. Bitch, we blessed, not rich. Huh. Whipping and repping my city when I flex like this. Huh. Flowing and busting and flying. Yeah, we blessed, little bitch. Yeah, I'm 25. Damn, I feel alive. Tribulations, but I know the Lord is on my side. Yeah, I got that fire. A nigga getting high. Meditate, that's how I'm getting by, getting by. Yeah, you know who that do be. Yeah, ho, that's me. Yeah, my life is like a movie. Yeah, ho, watch the scenes. Where I'm from, that's natural jewelry. All that tough shot talk, it don't fool me. Yeah, you know my set, bitch, huh? You know what I rep. Bring like she in college, swear to God, she so blessed. Ironic, I'm a Q, cause all I do is step on they necks and cut checks. Swear to God, I'm blessed. 
Yes, saying all I spit is facts, man. Getting all this paper. All I do is stack in shit like escalator. And I might escalate a please speak to the boss. Shit ain't come for free, you gotta pay what it costs. Cause I'm a bougie nigga. I hate a basic hoe. Yeah, I'm a choosy nigga. She got me trained to go. I ain't no hypebeast, but my fit supreme from head to toe. Whoa. Yeah, you know how it goes. I done ran a check on a nigga. I done flexed on a bitch. You can't get like this. Bitch, we blessed, not rich. Huh. Whipping and repping my city when I flex like this. Huh. Flowing and boasting and flying. Yeah, we blessed, little bitch. Run a check on a nigga. Run a check on that nigga. He just respect. Give him four days. You better check on that nigga. Huh. I got so many checks up on my checklist, nigga. Yeah, she gave me all that naked, now she necklace, nigga I said, ooh, yeah, I'm catching blessings Nah, I'm never stressing Fresh to death, bitch, I'm in heaven Spitting like a reverend Got baptized when I was seven Never learned my lesson I know Lord be my protection Still got Smith and Wesson Yeah, yeah, that's just how I gotta do Only time for friends Got no time for twos times two Ooh, yeah, you know how I do Mobbing with the crew Yes, yeah, only a few.